Uh, excuse me again. All right, I turned that back on. All right. Danger Noodles. We are back. We're playing Callisto Protocol. Uh, hopefully, uh, it puts me back in the area I was. That uh, we know how, what to do this time with strategy. Am I probably gonna die a lot? Yes. <laughs> but. Did you do scare break? Is the scare break not working? You redeemed Scare Bright, it didn't go off. Oh no, I did that like when you were testing the volumes. Oh, okay, that's probably why I heard it. Never mind. <laughs> oh, Bookworm's here. Thanks, Bookworm. It's the book. Let's see if I the die some multiple times. The Bitlionaire returns. <laughs> oh dear god. I get spammed with eight Twitter notifications. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thank you, too, Chew. Okay. I also have to try to remember the controls. <laughs> uh. I know... LB is run. Mm. That's probably the most important control. Of course, that's the first one you remember. Yeah, okay. I gotta remember. Okay, that's Crouch. Okay, that's. Okay, what did I get? I got battery pack. Yeah, that, that's so useful when I'm low on health. I mean, you can use the battery pack to uh, fling enemies into into the rotor. I mean, yeah, but not when you're surrounded. Nope, 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 nope. I had a chance, but I wasted it. Well, that's the big guy you need to... Kill first. Throw, yeah, throw into the rotor if the spitter was closer i would definitely throw a spitter first because the spitter is a piece of shit mm. i see that prison system is work is working as intended says benoit mm, yep my fucking chat is still being weird god damn it of course that zombie pops out when i need him to not be there okay I need a big guy Fuck! I forgot how to- I forgot how to do the oh, thing! No. Oh no! <laughs> I forgot how to do it! I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, it's A. I just tossed him into another zombie. <laughs> that other zombie barely flinched when he got hit with a gigantic bat boy. Wait, can you throw them off the edge? Maybe. Well, I'm dead. Oh, that's- okay. Just tore off my arm. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you can live with a torn off arm. Not if you fucking bleed out. That's what fire's for. Bro, it looks like he it looks like he got knocked out and then his arm torn off. That's what knocked out fire's for. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> okay, so I know how to throw him now. Uh. You do lose your right to bear arms when you go to prison. This has been a while. Alright. I now know the controls that I need. I got more health this time. Yes, I appreciate that. I think the only enemy I can just like full out avoid is the spitter. I don't think I need to kill him. 
Go in that corner over there. Please. Mason, thank you. Where am I? Where are you? Okay. Run! God damn it! Fucking piece of shit, rope police bitch! I think he's the only one that will have seen you. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Okay. Yep, it's just him. Okay. Yeah, bitch. Guy. Oh no. Okay. Oh, no. Don't turn into chicken. Don't turn into a chicken. You mean a lobster? Lobster. Yeah. Oh god. Please drop health. Fuck. He gives you credits. I am so low on health. And I'm drenched in blood. Yeah, that's an interesting question. Do these things not have the ability to smell? Apparently not. Like, you've been through a sewer and you're now drenched in blood. There's no way that you don't reek right now. So from here you can't see me. Hopefully. If so, I'm yeah. fucked. Just need to wait for him to get his back turned. At least your mental health is still okay. I'm pretty sure it's not. Oh shit, he saw me! He oh. saw me! Oh, it's better. Wait, please don't follow me, please don't follow me, please don't follow me, please don't follow me, please don't follow me. I have no idea if I got away. I don't know if he followed me or not. Because the spitter's slow. Oh, come on! Oh, there he is. Do you have any more energy in your gauntlet? No, I don't think so. Nope, I'm doomed. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Yo, MLG oh. clutch. Yes. Yes, Bright. Murder the bitch. Okay, oh, God, he's turning no, into a chicken. Man, lobster. Oh, God. Once they yeah, added the lobster well. shit, they made it way too hard. Because if you don't have any bullets, you're fucked. Which is why you don't use all your bullets. It's really hard not to. <laughs> Bestus, do you have any advice for Bright? He says meow. I hated how the spitter was also over there, right at the perfect timing to kill that guy. Let's see, can you hear Festus? Festus. Do you hear him? I heard, like, a very low decibel of, <laughs> of Festus. <laughs> yeah, he has a very, he has a very, uh, deep voice. I got more health this time. I love my Festus. Aww. Yeah, this area is really difficult. Hmm. This the area is really difficult. I said this area is really difficult. Uh. Yeah. I can't go back in there. Go behind there. That's this. Oh, it's my big boy. It's my big beautiful boy. God damn it! No, I'm fucked. <laughs> you grabbed a box? Yeah, I might as well just go ahead and accept death. Why did this box get picked?
Except death. Just walk into the walk walk into the grave. Oh apparently someone died. I don't know who. Oh. And I'm dead. Oh. Yeah, it was oh, the boy. fat guy. Fat guy killed me. Why you. did it pick up the box? <laughs> All things it picked up the box. The box was giving off a bad vibe. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Festus. Right? Mm -hmm. Festus believes in you. I think. <laughs> you think? <laughs> You're sure it's not he's Festus? A cat. Like, I want food. <laughs> I mean, he's not asking for food right now. I, he'd make it very apparent if he was asking for food. Uh, right now, he's just chill. But I think Vestas might believe in you, maybe. I doubt it. Vestas, do you believe in Bright? Okay, so thumb is he does believe. Uh, middle finger is that he doesn't believe. Okay, this time I got bullets. So I can hopefully stop them from turning into... The lobsters. Okay, so I have a method of making my cats choose things by simultaneously touching their ears with two fingers and then the direction they turn to look being the one that they choose. Uh, when I did that with Festus just now and trying to figure out if he... God dang. If he... Oh god, I'm stuck! I'm stuck on him! He wouldn't let me go! I'm doomed. He fucking threw me over so I couldn't yeah. escape. Fucking bullshit. Oh, well, luck I got lucky. It's still one guy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God damn it. I did what it oh. said to do the bullet thing and it fucking missed. Yeah. That cock guy's gonna always constantly see me. Yeah. But yeah, when I did my standard thing to uh, have Festus explain whether or not he believes in you, mm -hmm. uh, instead of looking towards either of his ears when I touched them simultaneously, he just fucking got up and walked away. <laughs> 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 I don't know what that means. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch their patterns and see if they can move away from the cop guy and do a sneak kill. Then yeah. run. <laughs> Let's see. So, middle finger is bright. Is Festus does believe in you. Thumb is he doesn't. He, he reacted to the middle finger. So, he believes in you. Festus believes in you, Bright. I assume. Isn't that right, Festus? No. Who's my favorite beastie? Think I, any of them see me? Oh, the cock guy moved. Oh, what the fuck? Why did he? <laughs> How did he see me? That's bullshit. How did he see me? Yeah, that is absolute bullshit. But also, that was fucking hilarious. Oh, the cop guy moved, and then he just sprints <laughs> around the corner. <laughs> Another tag me two at once. It's, it's, it's and like... I'm dead. Uh oh. Oh, they really like killing you in that manner. So yeah, there's really no way you, the fat guy has to die first. Yeah. It's just the comp guy who's a pain in the ass.
Yeah, so so you you throw the cop guy, and then you, I mean, you throw the fat guy, and then you sprint out of there ASAP. If I can. Yeah. Because the cop guy is going to try and run at me. Oh, excuse me. Festus, do you have any words of advice for Bright? He just looked at me. I don't... I don't know how to get past this fucking area. Even with this strategy, it's a pain in the ass. I mean, yeah. But remember, Bright, Festus believes in you. Whatever. Are you downplaying the value of Festus's belief in you? Yes. How dare you? Maybe he'll never believe in you again after this. I don't care. Damn it! Oh. Ugh. Fuck off. Did another one walk into the blades? Maybe. This time I got more health. And maybe a bit more gauntlet? No. Oh. Not enough that I would count. I can only pick them up and uh. slightly move them. Uh. Oh god, that's right, I don't have any bullets! Okay, he's gonna turn the lobster. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh fuck you. What if it, it'll actually fucking count this time? Wait, what if I save on top of an auto save? Mm hmm. I mean, do you really want to save from here where you have that little health? Well, it's better than nothing. Fair, yeah. Who's my fastest? Hand cannon ammo. That could come in fucking handy earlier. <laughs> I mean, it's quite possible one of them ran into the fucking van. They did that before. <laughs> they are not very smart. No. The one side I need to get over is that way. But I don't want to be seen. I I really need to pay attention to where the spitter guy is. Okay, he's right okay. there. Mr. the spitty boy. Right there. Oh, and there's that guy. Looks like I'll be fine if I sit right here. Yeah, he doesn't... Weirdly does not see me, even though he looked in my direction. <laughs> Maybe they can't see. My problem with this is I can't really see where a spitter guy is. Hmm. Spitter guy's right there. Oh, come on. When he gets an opening right there, he comes over here. The spitter guy's just gonna be right where there's openings to kill them. Yeah. Might be good, might be good, might be good. Oof. Does that guy see you? No, I don't think he saw me. Surprisingly.
Oh, I can't go that way. I have to. Oh, god damn it. This is bad. I'm not sure if you can see me right here. Free Please don't see me. Please. Please. Ignore me, please. Please. Please, for the love of God, ignore me. Oh. Oh, God. Thank you. If only you could use your gauntlet. I know. Wait, can I actually stealth kill him? Nope, I can't. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> she stopped for cutting me. He just fucking... He just turns around, fucking bitch slaps you, and you fall over dead. Let's see if I can actually go to that loaded save. Because that loaded save was actually really good. Yeah. Is it having trouble loading? Maybe. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Can't you're see. fucking kidding me. What? I was... I'm I'm in the I'm in the Minecraft world in mm -hmm. Site 19, and I was trying to clean out uh, my stick on my controller, mm -hmm. and then apparently, without me noticing, a fucking creeper came up, blew me up, and now I'm back at the spawn. I swear, if it doesn't allow me to use my mental save, I'm gonna be really fucking pissed. Yeah. Come on, there's got to be something in settings that's keeping it from me from being able to use it. Aim assist is apparently on. <laughs> Turn it up a bit. <laughs> I really doubt that's gonna help. Compass. Wait, auto aim, auto dodge, melee assist. <laughs> Continuously swing the stun button on button hold during combat. You see nothing. <laughs> I literally see nothing. I'm trying to clean out my controller's joystick. Uh, apparent, uh, button holds a switch button holds to a single press. I did nothing. Craft an ID. I probably should not click that. <laughs> Yeah, apparently there's a whole ton of combat assists that I've never used that the game gives you. <laughs> Festus looks down upon you with admonishment. I could have made the game a lot easier, yet I went through hell the entire game. Festus demands that you be stronger. Alright. So everything is on. I have to fuck. I was like literally thousands of blocks away from spawn. Oh shit! No, god damn it! I got stuck on the wall! I could have avoided the zombies outright. Alright, let's see what the assists do. Didn't you turn on a hold to continuously swing? Oh. Oh, yeah, I did. 
I had auto dodge. Apparently, auto dodge is not working. Okay. Auto dodge did not work. The fuck? Were you at the very least pressing in some direction? It's supposed to do it on its own. I think that's what it said. I can double check. Or maybe it's because I added too many. <laughs> yeah. The game's like, no, you can't have all these on. <laughs> Why does my bowels hate me? Yeah, if I hold it down, I, I constantly swing. Compat assist. Continuously swing the stun button and hold during combat. That's me, Elite Assist. What's auto dodge? Automatically dodge nearest enemy during combat. Oh, is that just, if I get in a group, it'll, it'll, it'll dodge. Uh... God damn it. That makes more sense. Well, I wasted that run. It was mildly entertaining. I don't know, probably means you don't need to choose a direction. Oh, yeah, that could be too. I don't have to choose a direction. I'll dodge. Yeah. Seems like the cop zombie's afraid of everyone. Right. God damn it! Fuck off! Okay. That's right, bitch. Come at me. Okay. 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 I, I hit the. I keep hitting the wrong direction to dodge. Okay. I keep hitting the wrong direction to dodge. It's so hard to tell which way they're gonna throw their fist. Cause everything is so fucking fast. Yeah, I think it's only when there's multiple. Cause I did hold one direction, he kept getting hit. So, yeah. so yeah, it, it's when multiple enemies, which is useful, but not when you're on your own with one zombie. Oh wait, no, stop, 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 stop it, stop it. Alright, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, save that for later. I actually still have Oh god damn it got wasted. I couldn't stop it in time. Oh damn. Restart. <laughs> Why did I have one? I didn't remember having one. Maybe they just give it to you every time you die. I mean, I don't think so. So I don't remember having one before I came in here. It's odd. God damn it! Fuck off! Pretty fast for a pig. Wow, hatchet. What? God damn it! I couldn't tell where he was gonna throw! He is so hard to tell! Fucking quit hitting me! Okay. Oh god. God damn it. Oh god. 
I couldn't tell where he was going to throw a punch. He's way too fast. Ah. I need the crate to drop me freaking bullets. Because if I get that, I won't have to deal about the damn lobster form. Hmm. So it also goes to tell me all the crates are randomized. Only one way to tell if I actually do have the health pack at the beginning. Yeah. It's just like, check. Because I don't remember having it. Yeah, I don't remember having this. Okay, so I do have one at the beginning. I have two. Hand cannon ammo. Thank you. I might just be able to have enough bullets to kill him outright before him he reaches me. That's not a good idea. Yeah, like I said. Well, then again, I also have aim assist on, so I can't defend oh. myself. Like when it comes to the fighting combat thing. God damn it! Fuck off! I couldn't. I can't move. The cop guy is way faster than me. That's not fair. Okay, heal, heal, heal quickly. Thank goodness for health injector. Oh, yeah, when I when he throws me over, he does like multiple punches. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, stop being hit by him. Oh god. Oh thank fuck. And I got health. Okay, that's good. Not a lot, but I got health. I got a way bit of hell. <sighs> I wish they wouldn't let you have use your manual saves. The game's like, nope, yeah. you can't use them. Now I'm just really wondering where am I supposed to go? The game will not allow you to be safe, scum. So I thought it was over towards the back right there, but it's not. Hmm. So we tried going that way and it was a no-go. So it's gotta be somewhere back here, I guess. Maybe? Or do I have to or is it gonna force me to kill all of them? Yeah, yeah, that might be what you have to do. But the thing is, that spitter guy is going to be right there every time I, I got an opening. Mm. Okay, maybe stop. Maybe not this time. Maybe not this time. Go down, go down, go down. Oh, wait, there's an opening right there. So we just gotta avoid the spitter guy. We don't have to even go to the other side. There's a literal opening right there that I just completely missed. Oh wait. No. Wait, he's gonna he's gonna be able to see me. I think. Yeah, I think he's gonna go over a bit. Okay, nope. The last time he saw me when I did that. What was there? Okay, okay, he's going that way, he's going that way. He's good enough distance away, I think. Please go, please go, please go, please go, please go. Oh. Oh. Uh. Finally. Okay, so we did not have to kill all of them. We just had to get yeah. it far enough. Jacob, I'm up here. Come on. 
I swear, if the spitter guy fucking snipes me somehow, I'm gonna be one pissed motherfucker. Okay. Jacob, oi, over here. How the fuck am I supposed to get up there, motherfucker? That thing is gonna snap on me. Yep, okay, yep. It's snapping. Bitch. That, that fucking bitch, like, mocking you for looking like shit. When he has armor. That motherfucker. Oh shit! Motherfucker, climb! Shit! You know, I love the fact that they added powdered snow. To Minecraft. At the same time, this is awful. Yeah, I think we need to get the hell out of here. Who's with the suit? Station got damaged during evacuation. We go get our side package to try. Yeah, get suited up. We still gotta beat that storm. When you're ready, we'll cycle the airlock. Never asked you. What are you in for? What? You worried you're helping a murder that guy? Well, yeah, kind of. Well, you are, man. For what? Look, it was a long time ago, yeah? I was defending myself. Wrong place, wrong time. I made a lot of bad decisions back then. Yeah, well, you probably just dealt with shitty hands. No. No, no. I was just to blame everyone else. But then I realized this was on me. Running from what you've done. Uh. There's always a prize. Well, that's the cop guy. Hmm. Now, is my buddy still alive? Is the question. Yeah. But now I got armor, I think. And apparently full health. You can only had red health before. Shit, shit. Like how you're just talking about powder snow and now I'm covered in it. <laughs> Is that snow? Yeah, it's snow. Uh, Estes. Oh, my beautiful boy. So that means that piece of shit prisoner guard is still alive. Right. Probably infected with the damn shit, though. Who's my favorite body? Suit health and inventory has improved. Hmm. Oh wow, yeah, that's a lot more space now. Yay. Oh yeah, and I have a lot bigger health bar. Okay. So maybe I won't get my ass kicked as much. <laughs> Perhaps. Yeah. I wanted to choose the easy mode because, you know, I like to enjoy the story. 
Didn't realize I get my ass kicked as much. Yeah. <laughs> so even it's on easy, you're playing hard mode. <laughs> yeah, Pokemon found that out actually. What difficulty chooses how many zombies you fight, really? Oh, so like the overall difficulty is the same. It's just changes the number of zombies that are around. Pretty much. And lowers some difficulty of the bosses. Ah. Uh. So. I'm not really on easy. I mean, you are on easy. It's just. It's just, you know, like, like, the, there's, there's just, you know. Do you know how fucking hard it is to control a boat on ice? <laughs> Why are you trying to control a boat on ice? Because the oh God. area that I set up oh at, God. the area that I set up at is across a frozen ocean biome. God damn it. Oh shit, my partner's about to die. You can hear me, activate your emergency beacon. Well, then you'd better fucking save him. Hold on, buddy, I'm coming. Unless you secretly want them to die. Wait, isn't it bad that you're not supposed to... It, about running in frozen temperatures? Like, didn't they say it's like really bad in Antarctica or something like that? I mean, I don't know. Cause it says like your sweat can freeze. I mean, yeah, that would make sense, but also you're wearing what seems to be an environmental uh, exclusion suit, something along those lines. Like presumably with that suit, you're significantly less affected by the elements. Wow, he got thrown pretty far. You got. Don't tell me you got infected. Nope, he just suffocated to death. It seems like a mixture of suffocation and fucking freezing. What would you even call that? What do you mean? Like, suffocation and freezing to death at once? Uh, you'd call it suffocation and freezing to death. Oh, I wasn't the sure there's a... How did you find us? Emergency beacon. You're lucky I'm the one who picked it up. Uh, I thought it was called something else. I mean, it's far, like, I, as far as I know, there's... I mean, I don't know of any term that's like a combination of the two. Why are there cats yelling upstairs? Hey, wait. Wait. Where do you think you're going? I'm a pilot, you need me. Hang her that way. Them guys are lucky. She's not gonna lead the rock? Why? Oh, come on. Man, she's a bitch. Be 
be wrong to stomp my buddy's corpse. Oh, I can't do it. The game won't let me. Uh, <laughs> the game's like, no, you're not doing that. <laughs> Bruh. The g even the game's like, bruh. What is, bruh. <laughs> Rolling around at the speed of sound Sliding around on a boat on the ice holes I'll reforge. I can actually spend my money. God, why is this controller being such a fucking pain in the ass? Yes, I can... Oh, wait, no, I can't. Uh, I can't buy the new gun called a skunk gun. Gunk gun. Which is a shotgun. Uh, Made by Skunk Works. The Skunk Gun. Let me have a talk about branding. <laughs> oh, hi there. <laughs> is that a frozen zombie? Or a person. There's another one. Oh, we can smash them. Go back and smash that other one. Watch it like when I do, it starts to move and attack me. Uh. <laughs> oh, thank God, I'm almost home, I think. I would join you, but... I. I want to continue playing the game. Well, yeah. Also, I, I brought something back in because apparently uh, on the VOD channel, it gets a ton of views. So I decided to bring it back every every so often in a month. Which is SCP tier listing. I brought it back for Wednesday. Uh, sweet. Yeah. So tomorrow we're doing tier listing? As well as I'm going to be doing the Minecraft server thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, give me that fucking health pack. Yeah, I think I every... Guess may oh. I guess maybe if, like, you're getting way too frustrated at that game, you could play some Minecraft tonight, but... I mean, yeah. I think I, I kind of do want to play some Minecraft. I meant to do it earlier today, but because... Recording mishaps. Oh god damn it! I knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I fucking. Oh, there's two of them. And he turned into a lobster. Oh god, I, I don't have any bullets. Oh, I killed him. Okay. Yeah, that that larger amount of health is really helping out right now. <laughs> Oh god, I keep forgetting I don't have any bullets. I can't hit him! Because he's too busy throwing his fucking fist! Fucking hell. I had one health bar left. E. Health injector does not give you much. Well, no, I think that's just, like, demonstrating how much more health you have right now. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, it doesn't fill your health bar up as much as it used to, but that's because your health bar is much larger. Yeah. I was hoping the suit would give you more armor so you can take more hits, but apparently not. Well, it definitely looked like you could take more hits there. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Stop hitting me. God damn it. Why is there so many of you? Yo, 
killed a frozen pig. I'm gonna die right here. There's so many of these goddamn motherfuckers. And they're both hitting me, so I'm dead. Yeah, like I said, dead. Because they throw two of them at you. At once. Now, where the hell is it going to put me? Ugh. I might just join you at 10.30 and do Minecraft. Nah. The one oh I I think I had forgotten to mention it. At what? uh at around uh nine my time, so around eleven, mm -hmm. I'm going to need to head off to give my mom a rub. That's fine. Okay, where are you? Yeah, there we go. That way I just lead this one guy over here. That way I can handle one of you fuckers at once. Oh god. God damn it. Just die! Good. He dropped health. If he didn't, I was gonna die. Or at least probably till the next checkpoint, which probably is not that far. Probably as soon as I kill the yeah. next zombie. Come on, where are you? There you are. Oh god, oh god, it's a cop! Beat his face in! Oh god! Oh god, I can't tell where he's gonna throw his fucking punches! Just die. Please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. Ugh. I got battery pack. Yeah, thanks, gang. Oh, you have more capability to pick guys up and throw them off the cliff. If there isn't a wall. Well, fair. I just want. I'm just curious at what the maximum security would look like. That's like the hardest mode. Oh, uh. dear God. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Things constantly following as I'm trying to cross this bridge. Yay. Oh yeah, that's that looks nice. It's not a good sign. Buddy, you might want to jump. You know, it'd be kind of fucked mm. if, like, you know how Christians say, like, uh, you get judged when you before you go to the gates of heaven. Mm. What if, what if God, like, or or gods, like, judge you for how many game characters you killed? 
<laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Everyone would be going to hell. <laughs> or, like, a, or something like it in Afterlife. I don't know if there is in other Afterlife's. There. Yeah. Oh, what the well, fuck? I mean, I mean, in this. Jesus Christ, what is that? It's the lizard fucker. And oh, I'm dead. Yeah, these things. And I'm dead. <laughs> And I'm dead. <laughs> oh, I I killed it. It has, they have very, apparently have very low health. Yeah, that's <laughs> what you tend to get with like mobility, based enemies. Low health, but they're really fucking hard to hit. Festus, what are you doing? But yeah, I mean, in this hypothetical, we're dealing primarily with Christianity, so. Yeah. There's no issue there. Yeah. Alright, once I get inside the building, I'll join you in Minecraft. Oh, wait, what? Hey! Hey! You out there! Hey, uh, see if you can find something to pry this door open. Those access tunnels lead to the snowcat garage. I can get us inside. Try to help out a trapped worker. Oh god. Oh god damn it. Or actually what I think I might do is once I get back to my base camp just head off to give my mom a rub now. That's fair. Oh there's more of them. I'm dead. I'm just dead. Well you're not going to kill me because I'm leaving. <laughs> That's the perfect way to dodge. <laughs> Checkmate atheist. <laughs> the policy gives me more time to work on the wall. Just pull this up. And since I went to main menu, I can just leave. Yeah. Plus, most of the month, I'm dealing with that game anyway, so it's, it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Right, joined around. I like how my five viewers probably be because of Callisto Protocol, and as soon as I leave, <laughs> I put it back into Minecraft. They're gonna be like, nah, I'm gonna leave. Wait, you have five viewers right now? Apparently. Uh, hello, everyone. We're We're doing Minecraft now. Don't question it. Well, I used the stuff I took from Hatchet's chest. Oh, wait, the uh, Discord stream isn't working. Oh, that's because it's still on the fucking <laughs> Clustal Protocol, which is not there anymore. Uh. Well, so, um... Ah, yes. Time to build onto the wall. Almost home. Please tell me my donkeys aren't dead. Why would they be dead? Because a creeper blew me up. Oh. The donkeys have been too close. God damn it. 
Okay, I'm just building up with oh. dirt. Oh, thank the gods. The donkeys are fine. Although it looks like one of them despawned. Oh, because you didn't name them? Well, I didn't even tame them yet. Oh. That makes more sense. Oh, that's the thing, like... For most, most mobs, uh... If you put them in... An area where they can't walk for 20 blocks in any direction... Then mm -hmm. they won't despawn. Oh. It's how... Uh, it's how things like farms work with cows and pigs. Uh. But sometimes it gets a little finicky with some other animals. Uh, okay, this time I'm going to set down a bed. I'm going to set my spawn in said bed. And I'm going to fucking save and quit. I will be back soon. Alright. It'll just be me in control of the full stream. With the amazing things I say. Great. Hey. Resting my feet sees in the furnace. I see nothing wrong with that. Okay, so where should I build my quarry? You know what, I got a nice spot right about up here. So it'll be nine across each side. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I should be able to just dig across and be fine if my math is correct. Yeah. Should probably build a shovel. Make that thing is a lot quicker. Two shovels. Let's well dump all that in. All right. Let's get the quarry start. Okay. 
God damn it. No. Well, I'm gonna destroy that anyway, so it doesn't matter. Ah, this is so much more peaceful than constantly dying over and over for views, right? Chat? If you're even still watching anymore. <laughs> You know what? I might as well just tweet out that I changed my. That I changed what I was gonna do. All right, now let's begin working on the quarry. All this lovely, lovely dirt. be enough of that. Now I'm getting what I actually need. I may find something I actually also need. It's a lot more peaceful now. DM. Hold on, give me one moment, guys.
Sorry about that. Wasn't sure if it was on board or not. This makes more sense to go two at a time instead of one at a time. So much more stone. Sorry about that. Must collect all this lovely, lovely stone. Is that a jury I hear? Maybe. <laughs> Hi, Jerry. Hi, Bright. Are you are you still questioning how I had a child for watermelon? I would like to know what you meant by watermelon child. <laughs> Well, I, I made it with a watermelon. That's all you need to know. Wait, what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you mean what? I, I, it's easy and simple. I made it with a watermelon. Kind of like I made it with a spider. <laughs> How many things have you made it with? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't like that answer. <laughs> Why not? I see nothing wrong with that answer. Typing intensifies. <laughs> Sorry. You 
you should be. Oh, Chu's here. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I I changed the stream, if you can tell. Yeah, I am. Um, I am also trying to work on this research paper. Um, I have officially, after working all day, I finished the first paragraph. Nice. Oh dear, that means I still have at least two more to go. Wait, how long does this thing need to be? Uh, Volcrum says congrats, Chu. Six. Okay, I was not aware that this paper needed to be four to six pages. God. <laughs> Double spaces, bookworm. <laughs> Oh no, bookworm, that's one of the requirements. It is double spaced. Oh shit. Usually I get told not to do double space when I was in school. Wait, really? Double space is kind of a whole part of MLA format. It, they didn't want me to do it. Well, that's dumb. Plus, that makes it harder to read. How are you two today? My lovely two new co-hosts. I am in pain. Like, really strong physical pain. Oh. I woke up this morning and had the pleasant surprise of having the worst neck and shoulder pain I've ever had in my life. Oh. I am guessing I must have slept in a really awkward position um, for at least five hours because I woke up at seven. And I went to bed at 2. So, uh... I don't know what the hell kind of... Martial arts I was doing in my sleep last night. <laughs> but whatever it is... It really did a number on my... On the right side of my neck and my right shoulder. Like, legit, it still hurts now. And... I can't... Ow. Fuck. I Don't can't even yourself. tilt- I can't even tilt my head up. Like, I can't look up. Without tilting my whole body backwards. Because it hurts my neck. Damn. Are you gonna be okay, Pika? Um... Um, to an extent, um, yeah, 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 I, um, I did everything I could think of today. I put on, I put on a heat pack, I did stretches, I took, uh, well, no, I'm not gonna exaggerate, I took some pain medicine, uh, that's more or less what I did today. I also didn't follow the instructions of one of the things I did. Um, I have this, um, we, we were able to buy this ointment some time ago where like if you rub it somewhere you're feeling pain, it will 
like literally like numb the pain and just make it go away. Um, but it says to only apply a thin layer every four to six hours. And um, it also said don't use heat packs when you use this ointment. I then proceeded to use a heat pack a few hours later because it hurt and I didn't like it. Pain bad. Now, thankfully, I feel much better now because, um, I've been trying my best to take it quote-unquote easy, and I um, just tried my best not to move around too much. So that's how my day's going. How's your day going? Uh, pretty good. Uh, I'm but... watching Bright create what looks like pure and utter chaos. Uh, I'm creating a research station, so I'm creating a wall for it. Uh, it's not done yet, so I know it's gonna look like crap. That is the... That is a very disappointing tree. It's like a... It's like a mushroom cloud, but... The mushroom cloud doesn't have its legs anymore. Are you saying the base should be thicker? Yes. What's going on now? I don't know. I'm sleep. I... I'm sleep deprived. Pika compared your tree to a mushroom, which made me think they are saying. Oh, this house. The base should be thicker. This house right here. This is temporary. This is just a temporary house. I'm not going to keep it. Wait, it's a house. That's not a tree. That's a house. <laughs> it's a temporary house. Well, Pika, congratulations. It's not a mushroom, it's a house that resembles a mushroom. We How do found, you feel? We found Mario's house for the new Mario movie. Oh no! <laughs> it has Minecraft blocks apparently for some reason, we don't know why. <laughs> mushroom Kingdom, here we come. That's actually how he said it. That hurt my soul during that first trailer. He doesn't have the two accident accents Mario's known for, because, like, the earlier Mario, whenever they had actors play him, it was typically a New Yorker accent. The video game Mario has always been known to have an Italian accent. And he has neither of those. You know, Mario's voice actor, who's been voicing the character for decades now, is going to be in the movie. He just won't be playing Mario. That makes no sense. It does to someone, apparently. Hmm. Perfect, there we go. I can now climb on top. How do you do that? What is that item to have you do that? It's scaffolding. You can warp through scaffolding? Yeah, you can go up and down it. That is kind of terrifying. Alright. What am I doing for this next paragraph? Uh, time to rest my feet inside a furnace. Make sure you put enough water on your feet. <laughs> Make ni nice and toasty and, and edible. <laughs> Did you call your legs edible? <laughs> Everything is edible if you're brave enough. Oh. All right, I need to make some pickaxes.
All right, time to go on my quarry. Where is your quarry? Not very nose from up here, but uh, down here. Oh. Why are you building it like that? It's gonna look a lot better. I just need more materials to make it look more scientific and stuff. It's the pet. I just need. I'm working on the wall at the moment. The wall is gonna be the biggest part. This is where we throw all of our enemies when they make us angry. We just throw them down here. Chew, how many they... people have you thrown down in my quarry? Mm, how many can you prove? <laughs> well, I have a whole bunch of dead bodies down here. <laughs> then only as many bodies as you see there. There's 2,000. Well, then 2,000. <laughs> Why did you throw 2,000 bodies down here? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to touch them. <laughs> Why did you throw them down here? Technically, that's a good way to get rid of them. See? <laughs> Cheery, you're not helping. The only other option is to eat them, and that's gross. Ch Allegedly. Ch Chew, what the fuck? Is that I've not heard if you cook it, option? it tastes like pork. Cheery! <laughs> As long as they have enough fat, it should have flavor. If they're too muscular and have too little fat, they won't have enough flavor. Okay, so Americans will have a lot of fit flavor. Got it. That's I think Americans true, would have too much flavor. <laughs> oh yeah, oh and bookworm. That's right. With all the with all the fat, then that's oil for the fire. That would be a good fi that fire would go on for a while. Oh, that's true. All the extra fat you don't want in the food can be put for fire. Talk that's gross, but honest. Just I'm talking of... to a bunch of cannibals right now. No, I you're not. Am not a <laughs> right, I'm not a cannibal. I haven't actually done that. Yeah. Did you know animal fat used to be used regularly for fires, Bright? Maybe. How many how many fires do you think people fat could make? How long do you think that would last? If it was Americans? Twenty four hours. <laughs> I think that would depend on the amount of people and how much fat. Oh, I can find a really fat person. Right, I didn't say anything. <laughs> Why are you I... tasting your own blood, Shoe? You don't? No! Why not? How, how have you never tasted your own blood? You've never bled in your mouth once? No, I haven't. <laughs> So, oh. wait, right, you've never lost a tooth? Um, you have all your baby teeth. Every time I've had my teeth broken is usually when I've knocked myself out, so I've never fully tasted blood, no. So wait, every single one of your baby teeth <laughs> was just knocked out of your mouth? Except for you... one is where I I ate a ham uh, McDonald's hamburger and swallowed a tooth. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Why? To, to be honest, to be honest, growing up, that was my biggest fear when I was still losing my teeth. Because back when I did believe in the tooth fairy, I knew that if I thought that if I swallowed the tooth, I wouldn't be able to get it back. Yeah. So yeah, uh, the tooth was very cr crunchy. <laughs> How did you? Okay. okay, now that just raises more questions. How did you manage to actually chew your own tooth? Because I, I thought it was like, I didn't feel any pain. So I thought <laughs> that there was just a hard piece. 
and uh, me. And right. I was overcooked There's... in the burger, so I ate it. Do your, do your gums not have any nerve endings in them? Maybe. Because losing teeth isn't exactly painless. Actually, it depends on uh, the tooth you're losing. Like, some baby teeth don't drop until all the nerve endings have already cut off from that tooth, and they're already connected to the new tooth. Yeah. It's one of, it was one of my back teeth. Oh, molar. Oh my god, losing my molars were the most nerve-wracking things I've ever had to live through. Oh yeah, fun fact about me, uh, I never had to lose my wisdom teeth. Lucky you. Because uh, I went to this dentist and asked him to look at them, and apparently they stopped growing, so... Fun. I had to get all four of mine removed I don't have surgically. To, I don't have to get rid of and any of them. Guess mine. what? Guess what? who woke up during the surgery? Yeah. He did? Yes. I woke up during the surgery while they were removing my teeth. Thankfully, I was only awake for like less than a minute. And then I fell back to sleep. Mm. All I remember was the light in my face and a whole bunch of doctors standing around me doing what they get. Doing their job. Thankfully, I didn't feel any pain. At least not until the anesthetic wore off. Are you- is that less a mine and more a specific hole you're digging to a specific measurement? Oh no, like, the quarries I've seen, like, they're usually circular, but you can't do circles in Minecraft. And they do tend to look like this, like, really old ones. Like, expedition-like ones, they look like this. That's what I'm being referenced off of. If you're talking about the really old ones, typically they look less like this and more either against a mountain or, like, just a straight-down hole, but the hole is typically thinner than this and it would splay into other areas, if that makes sense. Well, my hole is just white as hell. Plus, I have a more high chance of getting Wait, what, I'm minerals. sorry, how did you describe this hole again? What it's is a, it? It's a white ass. <laughs> True, Bookworm. It absolutely is. Yes, Chu? I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> Have you forgotten five seconds? I'll keep digging cobblestone till I can no longer dig anymore. Just sorry, kidding. sorry, muted myself because I was responding to something Spood put in triggering topics. That's fine. Yeah. Another reason I'm digging this deep is because I can get a lot of minerals a lot better. This is a lot wider. You gotta dig a little deeper. Is it bad for me to say I think adult skulls look a lot less creepy than child skulls? I have not seen enough child skulls in order to make that assessment. I feel like I'm well, talking looking to... triggering topics. Oh no, I saw. I feel like I'm, I'm trying my best. That's how the majority of all children's skulls look. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to serial killers. <laughs> it's because so... they have their adult teeth above their normal teeth, waiting to come out. 
let Spood know that I now have another good reason to dislike children. Spood, how do you feel about that? They don't like the idea of being nommed on by children with two sets of teeth. Spood! What? It's not like they're using both sets at once. They're using their baby ones now, and after those fall out, the adult ones that are already there will come down and take their place. Yeah, that sounds creepy, but... The adult tea support the baby tea. <laughs> hey, Chew. Hmm? Do you like snacking frogs? Um... I feel like if I answer that, people aren't gonna be happy. <laughs> Just answer it. No. I believe in you. If, it, if the answer is yes, then I'll be happy. Well then, well damn, that puts pressure on me to choose the answer you want, isn't it? <laughs> if you say yes, I'll be happy. Well, should I just say yes like a trained animal? <laughs> yes. I feel, I can feel Pika's sass from across here. <laughs> Can we talk about the answer I gave? But wait, what answer? What answer? About the stacking frog. Nobody wants to hear what you said to the answer of <laughs> Say it. frogs. S say it. Say it. <laughs> well, I'm hear. sure Pika doesn't want to hear the answer. I don't. No. Ah! Well, I don't like slapping frogs, but I do remember I had one thought about frogs when I was a young child that, in that retrospect, works. probably a red flag. Stacking frogs is something Australians do with frogs that are not native to the ecosystem that are destroying the environment. <laughs> oh, that's a spider. Yeah. I can make so many jumps. Howdy, creeper. Why did you just don't let don't it kill you? Donkey. Oh my gosh, it blew up all over my ass. <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> Did, did you find a version of a spider that's not violent? They are only violent at night. Oh! Also, uh, that's, that's one of my children. Does that mean spiders only eat at night? Probably. Yes. All right, note taken. All spiders in Minecraft are nocturnal and only eat at night. You can just replant all the flowers that Creeper destroyed, as well as plant some more flowers that I broke by accident. You have very weird things going on. Oh, uh, most of these flowers are gonna be gone. I'm just keeping Everyone it there. Everyone here pretty. is weird except for me. Hey, I'm not weird. Yet. Actually, I'm very weird. What the fuck am I talking about? Well, you're weird like the rest of us, Pika. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Hey, Make Jerry. Sure it didn't happen. Hey, Jerry, you want to see what happens if I break the bottom one? No. Bright, why are you breaking bottoms? Because she's a top? I shouldn't have made that joke. There's one who made it, not me. <laughs> Pretend I never made that joke! No. Ooh, copper. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck oh, you, hatchet. Back. Yeah. Bitch. I got more I copper. Have, I don't even have. You'll never take me alive, copper. 
Oh yeah, hatchet. Also, what do you think my quarry? I mean, it's certainly a hole. <laughs> also, um, why is it that the second I came back, I hear something about breaking bottoms and bright oh. being a top? <laughs> Because well, Pika just happened to ask Bright why she liked to break bottoms, and I Wait. said that's because she's a top. <laughs> I was talking about I was. You want to see me break the bottom of the scaffolding, and that's what they came up with. <laughs> well, I I I know my joke was bad. I did not know it'd get that much of a reaction. Yeah, I didn't realize how how awesome scaffolding is till now. Yeah, it's it's a builder's fucking wet dream. Yeah. No more dirt scaffolding. You just use actual scaffolding. Yeah. Oh look, my bamboo's starting to grow. I am yeah. not. Conv I am not convinced that wet dreams are a real thing. I have them almost weekly. I would almost kinky. Bright, the wet dreams isn't kinky. You can make it kinky. What do you what? mean wet dreams aren't kinky? <laughs> I mean, not inherently. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, says, okay, yeah, I guess. You? It's just horny. <laughs> it's just horny. Yeah, okay, that's that's fair. That's fair. You can horny and horny and kinkiness are not. Uh, mutually inclusive. Till All now. right, so Pika is always horny. Got it. <laughs> Pika's always horny and kinky. No, I'm not. Yes, yes, you I are. am only constantly one of them. You're both of them. Why would you be kinky but not horny? I mean, I'm pretty sure there are people that are like into kink but it has nothing to do with horniness oh well, yeah like that's definitely a thing that's why i said they aren't mutually inclusive but that's not your case silence for instance i'm fairly certain it is both kinky and horny to randomly say in chats talking like just randomly just on your own decide to mention that you wish you were getting spit roasted and bread i wish i were being spit roasted and bread i decided <laughs> to... okay so so hold on i decided to uh look up to see if what dream is a kink like someone actually yeah. likes that as a kink oh my god bright your your public school failed you how do you not know what a wet dream is oh i know what it is it's, I'm just not sure if you are into it, but uh, first thing I see is how to have a sex dream or a wet dream. Two methods, seven ex plus seven exercises. What? <laughs> My brain is too fried to understand what you just said. Are there some people so horny they want to figure out how to force a wet dream? Literally, all I have to do is exist in a where I all why are you don't send me this shit that just sounds like work oh wait no I didn't I'm not saying that to Jerry what's my bad hey, click the wrong person wait what'd you send what what the hell did you send it was a sex thing so I said I deleted it don't worry I know you, I know you, you best Jerry thank you I deleted it I, I meant to click two but I actually clicked you by accident Right, why would I need a guide for this <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna follow a guide to do it Right, th this isn't fun. This is work, <laughs> and I already do that during the day. But yeah, for for me, literally, all I need to do to induce a wet dream is occasionally think about the fact that I have a close childhood friend who's also been a friend with benefits here and there. Oh. oh. And then my wet dreams just form out of that. All right. What's the What's the status on this? Oh shit. Oh, I All just right. realized I got bonked by Bookworm and I don't know what for. <laughs> what do you think? You searched up how to induce a wet dream. No, that's not well, no, no, that was for, a while ago. That, it was for the um 
Uh, how to, it, it was the Breaking Bottoms thing. Oh. oh Wait, okay. I, why was I bumped? Also, um, quick report. The Georgia runoff election is now over. It won. Uh, Raphael Warnock won. Uh, that's good. No, oh, it was the cover coming all over me or something like that. Oh yeah, I remember saying that. <laughs> Only at 95% of the votes are reporting in right now, but he hit the, um, he has 50.7% of the vote, so he automatically yeah. wins. So that's a wrap. Hell yeah. So Georgia has gone blue. Georgia. Strikes Georgia. back. Yay. But yeah, fucking, I was... Fucking Herschel Walker. While I was uh, working on this paper, um, I actually had a live count from MSNBC running in the background. Oh. Because, like, whenever there's an election, the guy that, like, does the, um, all the numbers and calculations, he, he, I love his enthusiasm, and he, he talks and dresses like a giant fucking nerd, and <laughs> I love him for that. Even if, just by leftist principles, I don't like MSNBC, but him... Him I like. I love his enthusiasm. Uh, yeah, I was watching him in the background, and like every minute, it was flip, it was flipping and flopping back and forth between. Okay, one of them is winning. Okay, now the other one is winning. Okay, now they're both at exactly fifty percent. Okay, now one of them is a tiny bit over fifty percent. It, it, it was, it was nuts. Oh, I just got an announcement about that exact same thing from Ocean Surfer. <laughs> Makes sense, aren't aren't? Don't doesn't Ocean and Wolf both live in Georgia? Yeah, and, and Saris. Yeah, I know Saris, but I couldn't remember if it was Ocean and. Uh, wolf. Like, I knew that they live in, like, a, a place that's close to Cirrus, but I couldn't remember if they were, like, on the border or something. They, they, they are... They are Blorgia. They are Blorgia. If... Worst part of the wall's most done. I don't think you should do masonry in the rain... I think I could. I, I I I have placed my woolen bed out in the rain, and I'm well, that, sleeping in that bitch. That sounds like a good way to get pneumonia. Eh, I, I've had that five times. Did you? Fun fact. Why, why do you sound proud of that? What kind of woman are you? <laughs> fun fact. Uh, pneumonia is actually what killed Casper. The friendly ghost. The more Sucks you know. to suck. Yep, he was being he was being a dumb kid. His dad got him a sled for I don't know if it was like for his birthday or if it was just like a surprise gift. But when Casper was a little kid, he got a sled and he was out in the snow, playing in the snow all day, sledding. And like, the only description he gave, because you know, he, he, he died, and he was a child, um, he said that his dad kept telling him to come inside, but he was too busy having fun. And then all Casper said was, then it got, then it got dark, and then I felt cold. 
and then dad was ready. <laughs> oh, God. That might not be pneumonia. That might just be dying of hypothermia. Oh, no. Well, before that, he made the important detail that his clothes were getting really wet beforehand. Yeah, that can... That, that like, if you're out in the cold, that will expediate hyperthermia. Hyperthermia can actually cause people to sweat profusely. Yeah. Not to mention there's... I, I still think it's one of the fucking most terrifying aspects of hypothermia. Paradoxical undressing. Where, like, people can get so cold that they start feeling that they're hot, so they start taking off their clothes. And thus exacerbating the fact that they're freezing to death. Fun. <laughs> Fun. I was just waiting for Chu to make some comment about undressing. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else I have to add to that. <laughs> but, uh, that yeah, that is that is your lore for the day, everyone. Casper is a child who died from pneumonia because he was a stupid kid who wouldn't get his ass in the house. Well, no, again, like, this sounds, this sounds significantly more like hypothermia. Well, the, uh, well in the movie, they... They, they were pointing more towards um, pneumonia because I, I, I keep forgetting things because he said his clothes were getting wet plus it got darker plus it got colder and then after that he also said he got when he did go inside not long after he got really sick Okay. And then his dad was sad. Okay, then yeah, that kind of... I that, look it yeah. up, and apparently, um, in the comics, he was his uh, original backstory was he was a ghost child that was born from ghost parents. Well, that just sounds lame. I want dead shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna finish that statement. <laughs> no, go ahead. Had your finish that statement. No, nope, no, nope, I ain't say I ain't saying that. <laughs> you know that it's confusing, but um, one of the uh, we're gonna clip that out of context, bookworm. Um. Oh no. <laughs> I uh. God, what was I gonna say? Nothing. Um. I'm blue, da ba dee da ba die. If I breathe air, I will die. Oh, I know. Uh, one of the, um, it's confusing because one of the ghosts in the original Luigi's Mansion was like that. Where it's like not clear where this ghost came from. Because on one hand, mm -hmm. the, uh, the little database of portrait ghosts that the professor gave Luigi. On one hand, it says that Chauncey, the first boss of the game, died as a one-year-old. But then the data entry immediately doubles back on this and says that he was born a ghost. And then on top of that, in his room, in the nursery, there is a photo of him when he was alive as a baby. So which is it? Honestly, what it sounds like is as if the game designers are trying to, like, build up a certain layer of mystery around this with, like, ARG elements. As well as try to make things a little more digestible for the presumed kids that are watching this. Yeah, we have two pieces of evidence that say that he was alive, but then died when he was 12 months old. 
and then we have another thing that says I, I, I guess this would mean that he has been it, he was born a ghost and has been a ghost for 12 months I, 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 I guess that makes no sense to me Yeah, and we're, we're talking but about damn, stuff. if they if they were doing ARGs in 2001 for a they GameCube were. tech demo, that's crazy. Well, I mean, like ARGs def like were like the earliest ARGs started around there, so it's not entirely impossible. But I don't think that's what they were actually trying to do. I'm just saying, like it's got an AI a ARG feeling to it. Oh no, like, I know. I'm just messing yeah. around. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I I still need to look into like a history of it, and I still need to actually watch the movie. But I know that the uh, first Blair Witch was teased with an ARG in like the nineties. Wait, uh, Bookworm says, or maybe he was born a ghost and died to become a second ghost. Oh fuck! Wait, Re wait. Reading what if that he's... just gave me a stroke? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Fan theory. What if he's actually a twin ghost, and the origin is that one of the twins, like, died in the womb, and then the other twin died at at twelve months? Well, see, now that can't work because in the game, there's already a pair of ghost twins. That doesn't exclude the- uh, that doesn't exclude the potential of another pair of twins existing. Oh, and- Do you think that- do you think that media needs to necessitate that only one pair of twins exists in a narrative? Do you want to know what's funny about the twins? What their names were? What? Um, their- the twin brothers' names are Henry and Orville. And <laughs> they are references to, um, well, for one, they are both uh, Chauncey's older brothers, and their names are a direct reference to uh, Henry Ford and Orville Wright, because, um... um when you fight them, Henry will attack Luigi by driving a go-kart, and Orville will attack Luigi using a plane. <laughs> but also, that said, that actually gives even more weight to the idea that maybe Chansey was actually a twin ghost, because uh, if if the other pair of twins are their brother that implies that their mother had the propensity to have twins and statistically speaking it's more common for someone who has twins once to have the potential of having twins again no for for them like given like their age it's known that they were alive at some point and um Let's double check the database for the Game Boy Horror really quick. <laughs> How old were they when they died? They. Uh, wow. Imagine having a twin that's like identical to you, and you both die at age five. Damn. Oh, yeah, okay, but that doesn't take away from my fan theory. That is very amusing to me. It's a game theory, Hatch, not a fan theory. No. No. no this is no. fan theory. No. Go, I'm go not sit in the corner, right? I'm not <laughs> associated with Matt Pat. Position. Hatchet is sleeping in bed. Yeah, I see. What? Oh, right. In game. Yeah, I would also, like to remind you that I'm sleeping out in the open. Also, I put a quote in the adult quote area. 
literally any enemy Why can come you along like and... this? Why? Literally... Who like what? Why, why would you quote me saying that? Well, you said that. No, I didn't. There's no proof. Are, are you trying to deny what you said after you said it? Yes. Welcome to America. America. Fuck yeah. I am being surrounded by every mob in the game. Please help. Uh, I'm no. sleeping. God damn it. The creeper blew up again. <laughs> Build a wall. Why don't you leave coming. your bed and help him? We're, well, we're I'm so... like super far away. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, look, Luigi's Mansion is a really dark fucking game. Uh, one of the portrait ghosts is completely optional, but you can capture her anyway if you want more money. Uh, her name is Sue P, and she is a, she is a little girl who died at age seven, <laughs> and face. it's explained that she actually died in her sleep, okay. I... and as a result, even as a ghost, all she does is sleep. Bright, what? are you mocking him? <laughs> and like, it's really, it's also really sad because, okay, so a mechanic in a game is that you have to like scan the ghost hearts to see how to, to get a hint on how to beat them, uh, assuming you haven't played the game already. Uh... And the quote that she says when you scan her heart just makes it feel even sadder because her quote is, I won't wet the bed, I promise. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. I saw the new thing about the, the update thing where you can pay to be in the server. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That's a thing now? Yeah, that is for Discord. Oh, for Discord. And, not uh, and on top of that, like, she does talk, but it's always essentially sleep talking. Because again, she literally sleeps and nothing else. And to add insult to injury, in order to capture her, and keep in mind, she's an optional boss. You don't have to capture her. You can just leave her alone. But if you really want to take this ghost child who clearly... Let's face it, she was probably, like, abused for wetting the bed. Given how, like, that her only quote like deep in her heart um in order to capture her you have to spray her with water Aww. to upset her in order to capture her that sounds like how she was abused because um it was often uh it was a common thing for adults at a certain time period they thought their kids were misbehaving to, uh, to, like, you know, when they were, like, doing the extreme, not, like, common sort of punishment. So this is how would they, they would do it when they were, like, really punishing their kids. They would throw ice-cold water on them, but that was also the days where if you were covert in ice-cold water, there would be more risk of you dying. There was a high mortality rate of children back then too. Yeah, well that that also explains why she died at age seven, and um, and like just to add an insult to injury, you have to spray her with water three times before you can capture her. 
and oh. if you fail to capture her in one go, she will try her best, she, like, she will try to go back to sleep and leave you alone, even though you attacked her first. So you have to so spray her- you have to spray her with water one time in order to continue trying. That poor girl. And do you know what happens to her if you decide to capture her? What? what? You take her back to a uh, Professor Egad's lab. And do you know why these characters are called portrait ghosts? She's turned into a portrait? Yep, she's put back into a painting. And she's just stuck there. It feels like Miss, uh, the EGAS person is just kind of a dick. Hashtag Luigi is over party. Well, Luigi didn't capture them originally. Professor EGAD did. Yeah, it doesn't Why? change the fact that Luigi's still the one doing all this shit now. I think he's doing it because he was put in a position where he had no choice. No, he had the choice. She, she literally just said that this is an optional one. You well, don't yeah, have to do this. Well, yeah, I'm not talking about that one. I mean, most of the other ones. Well, yeah, most of the other ones, but specifically talking about this girl. Yeah. Yeah. Even her, her name is a pun on what... Unlike the fate he was delegated to in death, because let me double check here. I think, uh, Stu, uh, oh no, wait, no, it's right. Um, Stu P is actually, uh, which is her name. Her name is Sue P. Uh, her name is literally the onomatopoeia in a different language for someone who is sleeping. Oh. And then obviously, the, uh, her, uh, her name is also a reference to E Soup. That's a really weird reference to make. But, um, considering the bedwetting. Part of her name is literally just P. The universe really hates this child. No, I think Nintendo hates this child. This one ghost child that has appeared in specifically one game Honestly, has not been seen since. I think that since. was just a, an, a very bad coincidence on Nintendo's part. I think the main reason they did that was for the sleeping reference and for the reference to uh, the princess and the pea. But you know, even if it wasn't intentional, that's still a that's still mean. Yeah, a lot of the fates for what killed some of these ghosts these portrait ghosts because um this is like one of our confirmations that people do like legitimately die in the mario universe and that this can happen to to them uh one of them is a uh, a character named mr lugs he is another fully optional boss you could literally just leave him alone you could just walk right past him let, watch him do his own thing and not bother him but uh mr lugs lives in the uh dining room of the mansion he is really, really big. Do you- would you like to guess what killed him? Being big? Hmm? 
obesity. Well, that's something that kills people sometimes, being big. Well, well, I, I mean, yes, he, he, he was, he, he ended up being huge, but what, did what? He di did he die of clinic? Did he die of uh, clinical fat? No, I was. Oh, yeah, that's your own thing. Close, but not really. He, did he die of anything related to his height? No. Like back issues or oh. Did he die of systemic fat? No. Like, he, he died from a heart attack. That's related to height. No, 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 no. He died from a heart attack that was induced from him, like, eating in one sitting and just not stopping. He just kept eating. He, he literally ate himself to death. That's less likely to cause a heart attack and more likely to cause a rupture in your stomach. Yeah. Uh, okay, wait, hang on. Let's read his little his little entry here. What does it say? Uh do do do. Oh wait, this isn't the actual entry. This is just the fan wiki, but I remember the game pretty well, so it's close. Um, he pr he prefers all-you-can-eat buffets to three meals a day. He ate himself to death by consuming too much food as a living being. But even in death, he was not satisfied, and so he spends his afterlife in the dining room continuing to eat non-stop. May I ask? Mr. Yes. Lugs, you said? He yes, was Mr. Tall, Mr. But Lugs. Was he, was, was he round? Because very. sometimes people. Oh, okay. I was about to say sometimes people can be very tall and eat like a starving horse and still be as thin as a rail. But you, you just said yes, he was round. Okay, never mind. Also, Avi, and please don't look it up. That's cheating. Um, who wants to guess how old he was when he died? Eight years old. Sixty-nine. No. 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 <laughs> right. No. <laughs> no. He he wasn't a child. He was sixty-nine. Hell Forty-two. Yeah. Nice. Was he in his but no. Mid twenties. Four four hundred twenty years old. <laughs> no. I said forty-two. That's my answer. Was he in his mid twenties? No. Damn it. Damn. Bookworm says 4,000... Oh, uh, no. 42,069. Ha, got him. But no. Mr. Was Lugged... It, was it uh, 69,420? No, these are more or less... Like, these were people who died. Like, like people, people. Was he in his early 30s? Yes. Can I, can I guess a vowel? No. He probably said early thirties. Can I get a vowel? Hatchet. No. Early thirties means between thirty and thirty-five. Thirty-three. May I phone a, may I phone a friend? <laughs> Bookworm is close, but considering the range you're working with here, that's. It's pretty easy to get close. Hey, don't attack the spoon! I oh, needed string. It. God fucking hell. Bookworm, are you just listing every number from 30 to 35 until you get the correct number? Why That's are you telling thought. Hatchet good luck? What's going I, on? I just... Cock munch. Her <laughs> lugs lived to be 30. Why are there so many goddamn enemies around my home? I, I like how literally the second I put I believe in you, Hatchet Head 33 was shot by a skeleton pops up. 
There's so many. <laughs> you know what? I'm suddenly very glad I'm not playing with either of you right now. We're on bedrock. Bedrock? Yeah. This no. is not. Oh Java. yes, I killed the creeper. Fuck you, creeper. No more blowing up my land. Is that the name of your server or? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no uh, it's the version of Minecraft. Uh, version of Minecraft. Bedrock. Okay. <laughs> Are you okay, Hatchet? I don't like this game. <laughs> Everything I own is a threat by creepers. <laughs> Maybe you should do the mushroom house like Bright does. <laughs> I don't have time. I'm just barely setting up my base camp. I'm trying to think who my favorite portrait ghost is. To be honest, it probably is Mr. Lugs, but, um... No, oh, skeleton. Skeleton, sir. Please. I... Please. Please! Oh. That's not I... helping me. <laughs> I I also really like Bogmire. <laughs> Bogmire was the only portrait ghost that wasn't a living being. He's literally just it, 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 it's literally just a shadow. A, it's described as the cemetery shadow. That's actually kind of cool. All right, new plan. You're gonna go look for Bogmire. Are you gonna go shoot Bright? No, no I left, left the server. I left the server so that it became daytime and now I'm going to rejoin. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I thought that was a sound alert! On and uh, honestly, um, uh, I would really love to have um, the vacuum that Luigi uses in that game, the Poltergust. Yeah. Also, also yes, it's called Poltergust. Oh, yes, oh. I know, very funny pun. Hey. Yeah, I remember. Uh, oh. Oh, I needed that laugh. Hedge just had an orgasm. What the what? fuck? What? What the fuck? Right. Actually, no. I don't want just the poltergust. I want the, uh... Oh god, I hate the name of this machine, but I have to say... The, uh... What? Scare Bright. Haha. Uh -huh. Um, I also want the ghost portrificationizer. Because that really I is a mouthful. Because I want to turn people I don't like into portraits, and that way they will never bother me again. That name really is a mouthful, I, and I not think the that sort only of. works on ghosts, though, right? No, it doesn't. Oh. Um, because, uh, King Boo, who actually made his debut appearance in Luigi's Mansion, uh... I thought King Boo existed before then. The Boos no. have always existed in the Mario universe. Oh. The, the Boos, Boos have exist. always existed, but King Boo did not. Oh. Um, but, uh... King Boo captured Mario before the game started and turned him into a painting. Except he was like fully aware the entire time and is actually was actually able to see things and talk and everything. He was just trapped in a painting. That's terrifying. Thank you. Anyway, and, and Luigi put him through the machine except in a reverse and it turned it it turned him back to normal how did a zombie that had a golden helmet projectile possession 
three and two lead. Why did you see a decked out zombie? And I think the zombie probably picked up the leads from uh, the llamas. Yeah. Guys, Bookworm is saying that he wouldn't trust me with that power. I wouldn't that trust you sense. with that power. No one should trust you with that power. Why not? So many reasons. Name one. The fact that you haven't, like, an ir like seemingly just completely unstoppable desire to cause harm to children at times. I don't want to cause harm to children. I just don't like them. One of yes. the things well, you said okay, to yeah, then, food then, today yeah. was another reason why, uh, another reason to not like children. And actually, no, that's that's, I, I did misword that, and you just perfectly played into it. You said that you want to put people that you don't like and turn them into paintings. That means you would probably be turning children into paintings. I was going to counter by saying, but at least the process doesn't hurt. But then I actually remembered the cutscene where Luigi turned Mario back to normal, and it actually does seem to hurt quite a bit. Right, what are you doing? Making a but it was away. a very funny cutscene. Uh, yes. Are you, make, are you making it easier to walk to your wall? No, I'm making it like a walkway for the wall. It looks like you're making another wall in front of your wall. Well, yeah, but that's going to be like, that's that's kind of how like making the walls work. Like, yeah. You have to basically make two walls of the wall, and then you connect it at the top. Mm -hmm. Wall squared. A squared wall. This wall not keep out all the trunk like supporters. That. Also, yes, Bookworm, and I'm still very upset about the fact that you people would not trust me with very benevolent and sensible anime abilities. Oh, no. uh, oh wait, my head hurts severely. I honestly call that very reasonable. Yeah. It what? No, it's not. I could do so much good with the uh, with the Sharingan eyes. It's bullshit. <laughs> All yeah, right. Yeah. You have cold bullshit. You must now substantiate your claim. With facts Pika, and I know you best. You would find some way to use it for bad. Do you <laughs> even know what it does? No. I don't watch Naruto. I'm not interested. Well, see, there you go. You can't even say I can't be trusted with it if you don't know what it does. Well, it's first, like... to get the highest type of shouting gun, you must, uh, I believe it's kill or betray the person you love most. I want to correct that, but I don't know if anyone here cares about Naruto spoilers. None of us care. Spoil us. Um, that is what's said at the beginning of the series, but apparently it's just brought on by feeling like a really strong emotion, more or less. Oh. Like, um, anger or love for another person or so literally his brother lied to him which is not a surprise yeah not that I'm saying his brother was a dick or anything no he was he, Itachi was a bit of a dick he, he, he more or less committed a uh, the word that can't be said on Twitch, the, the word that starts with the letter G. The extra mega homicide. Yes. He more or less did that in the name of the state. Yeah, he did. 
and he's never shown any signs of regret. The only quote unquote the, the only sign of quote unquote reg regret was when he cried and hesitated directly before killing his parents. I don't count that. Oh no, it it doesn't count. But that's like the closest thing to it. God damn it. And Bookworm, I wouldn't put everyone under illusion. Bullshit. And I can turn the illusion off whenever I want. Are you talking about the shut-in gun ability by that one, like, overpowered final boss in the first Naruto series? No, I'm just talking, like, the having the eyes in general. Bookworm is saying that I shouldn't be trusted with them because I would put everyone under an illusion. And no, I wouldn't. I would only put... I would only put some people under an illusion. Well, technically, if... I think the only person who has that power is that one person. Uh, otherwise, uh, the ability to have illusions depends on how strong your shut-in gun, on how far it can go, and how many people it can cover. Well, for well, for some of it, it really would just be as simple as getting someone to look me in the eye. Which would, which can be very easy. Like I could do a simple trick, like, "Hey, do I do I have something in my eye?" And then just have them look right into it, and then bam, I got them. Right? Are you gonna seal the spider in the cave? Right. I love how Bright and Hatchet have just been here, have just been listening to this back and forth and have yet to say a word. <laughs> I, I wasn't going to, but as soon as Jerry said that. Bright, that's mean! <laughs> that's mean! You didn't need to do that! It's an innocent spider! It only wants to kill you at night. But Bookworm, I'm never going to let that go, because that's mean. Never going to let what go? That th these people wouldn't trust me with that power or Majin Buu's powers. I'm going to be upset about that forever. I wouldn't, I, didn't trust get what I, want. With... I wouldn't trust you with even magical girl power. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch any Magical Girl anime, so I don't know if I should be upset about that or not. Well, how they are depends on the Magical Girl. Hey. And honestly, Magical Girl powers seem dependent on the power of the heart or some bullshit like that. So, it would be as powerful as your heart. You could be, uh, oh, I forgot. Oh, what's, I forgot the name of uh the anime it's something like i am not a zombie and it's like a guy's given magical girl powers and every time he uses his powers oh, he's cross-dressing yeah i know what you're talking uh, about and uh his and, and and he uses a chainsaw to kill demons i i actually love that anime Rich i anime vaguely moment. remember and if i remember it's like canon that the doula hand Girl actually does like him back. I don't even remember anything from it. Oh, that's fair. But um saying that it depends on how strong my heart is, that can be taken in a lot of different interpretations. How horny is the chew at this particular moment? <laughs> Sadly, I'm sorry, but a, a magical girl animes do not count horny as power of the heart. Well, I mean, that depends on the Magical Girl anime. I'm starting to think that this anime... I've never seen this... any Magical Girl anime that counted Horny as uh, 
power of the heart. What about oh, hentai? I'm starting to think that, <laughs> that these fictional stories may not be too realistic. <laughs> That's why I said, what about hentai? Yeah, I was about to say, like, you, you, like, you know me. I, I, am a, I am a regular connoisseur. I'm kind of, of scared to ask, are there hentai magical girl animes? Probably. Yes, yes, yes there are. In I'm fact, guessing magical... they have power of the horny instead of power of the heart. Sometimes. Actually, I think the most common uh, genre of magical girl hentai revolves around magical girls being corrupted by 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 the by the by the demons. Oh. Yeah. And it it almost always has to do with non-con. That's probably the most consistent theme. How the hell did we get here? What did I do? Because you were t we talked about magical girls, we talked about them related to you, which means we talked about horny. Yeah, we and were talking Talking about magical girls because we were talking about the anime powers we wouldn't trust you with, which includes magical girls. You can't talk about anime power without talking about magical girls. That sounds heathen, not heathen, right? Sounding? That sounds uh, heathenistic. All right, all right, chew, chew. Here, here's, here's my offer. You get to have a Titan shifter ability. But you nice can, try. But you nice try. Have... But I watch the show. I know what happens to me after 13 years. Well, no, I'm I'm thinking I'm not even taking that into account. Let's forget like forget about let's forget about the curse of Ymir. You get to have one Titan Shifter ability, except your only option is the cart titan. The what titan? The cart titan. You're very good at at at, st at staying in your titan form and being uh, used to carry things around. Sounds like a perfect job for a sub. <laughs> no. Oh my. It, no, a sub would want to be carried. I mean, that really depends on the sub. So wait, are we talking like uh, a, a, a meatball sub, a BLT? I'm so sorry. I know that's a stupid joke, but I'm I gonna... have to make it. You know what? The Curse of Ymir is there. Fuck you. <laughs> that's the only what? anime power you get. What do you have against sandwiches? <laughs> a lot. A sandwich killed my mother. It depends mother. if it's that subway girl. Subway has awesome cookies. I'm talking about the show, uh, the Futinari Did you know one. that there is a drama based yeah, on know. Subway? It would not surprise me because people are really fucking bored. It's not because people are bored. It's because Subway in a different country decided to advertise itself by creating a literal drama. Sosuke, real... Sosuke, yeah. you were supposed to add, Sosuke, you were supposed to add bacon on that order. No, Sosuke. Apparently, there's an entire love story in that drama surrounding Subway. <laughs> or oh. no, Bookworm, no. Oh, Bookworm, so... why? And they got you. What oh God, no! You? We're not. We're not. Nope. 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 We're not talking about Jared. No one's talking about Jared. Oh! We're not. No, they don't have Jared. The, Jared is not with them anymore. You we're not dealing with Jared. Guess you won. Who? Made us a butt. They made the Jared. Uh, yeah, the other guy was kind of cuckoo. Uh, and, uh, in a vampire South Park video and game. Werewolves and doesn't like big words. Oh, thank you. <laughs> And he showed one of those toy police badges over at a speech once, saying that he used to be a officer. Oh, <laughs> isn't that magical? That was the Republican candidate. Oh. But yeah, that's just a common thing in storytelling is just creating like back on the like the characters around Luigi Mansion, Luigi's Mansion, like. I, I also aim to do this, but it's just a really interesting mode to like look at the fact that pretty much any story 
that intends to feature some amount of tragedy is going to feature some character that like th like like are you the, gonna the stick a duck in your wall i mean a <laughs> Chicken, a chicken. Are you what? Stick a chicken in your wall? Is that a euphemism for something? Are you going to stick no, a cock in the wall, right? A chicken was between the walls. Right. Are you going to add a glory hole to your outer perimeter? I was talking about an actual chicken. <laughs> but anyway, um. When it comes to pretty much any narrative that intends to touch on tragedy, it seems like at some point there's going to be a character that it just feels like the person who created them absolutely despises them because everything bad happens to them. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, ironically enough, I think the best example of that in Attack on Titan is fucking Reiner. Or Reiner. Mm. Asking me to feel sympathetic with Reiner is a bit of a big ask for me. Wait, why? I, I feel very little sympathy for the people in that show. I feel I feel empathy, absolutely, but my sympathy is a very limited resource, and it is not renewable. So you can't feel sympathy for Reiner? I mean, I can, but I don't. But yeah, point being, like, it, like literally, like, it really does feel like Isayama purposely created him just to put him through suffering. He exists to have trauma, want to die, and every time he wants to die, he doesn't. Rip Bozo. To be fair, that's quite realistic. I mean, yeah, true. God damn it. But still. Like, the fourth season... Well, you don't need to have a perfect wall. Like, the majority of the fourth season surrounding him is just him giving up on life and then getting just the tiniest bit of reason to keep moving forward and then giving up on life again and then that just repeating over and over again. I think it's happened three or four times in the fourth season. That makes sense. Like, there was literally... Like, one of the most impactful scenes, it featured him... Uh, almost shooting himself with a rifle. Are, are you going to bridge the, the... Yeah, yeah, you are. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And I also remember feeling weirdly numb the entire time, where I just sat and watched and didn't feel much of anything. Man, I love Why? scaffolding. As you can see, I am perfectly, I am perfectly well and functional. No, like you're, you're what? You're, you're watching scenes of a, of like a war veteran so. that was forced to, that was basically forced through a whole shit ton of indoctrination to go off and kill people, dealing with the regret of having gone off and kill people, and almost, almost taking his own life because of it. I... He still did the thing. Well, yeah, he still did the thing, but it's under the context of he literally didn't have a choice. Yes, he did. No, it's really. just that one choice would not have had a good outcome for him specifically. Yeah, that's and called an people... ultimatum, which is not a choice. Eh. Ultimatums are not choices. Flip. <laughs> If, if an ultimatum is a choice, then it is a choice within an abusive relationship, whether you stay or not. That's not how this works. The entire, this is the, like the entire purpose around like that part of the story is pointing out that these characters that committed egregious actions at the very least for them feel that they don't have a choice. They have some kind of ultimatum right there on the table, or I think honestly in Aaron's case, it's a mixture of that as well as, you know, 
overall indoctrination by the surroundings of his life. And then on top of that, what I think is kind of a metaphysical bit of lack of choice. Because this this is something that I think people uh, I think people commonly miss out on when looking at like the big reveal of Attack on Titan season four. You know the big moment surrounding the powers of the Attack Titan. Yeah, I, I I'm aware. Yeah, like what that reveals is that the Attack Titan doesn't actually have a choice. And Aaron doesn't actually have a choice in any of his actions because for him to deviate from the circumstances that led to him existing at that moment, for him to deviate from the set timeline of the narrative, it would quite literally break the chain of causality and he would cease to exist. It's the same basic reason why I hold that if there is an all-knowing being, then... Uh, free will cannot exist. Because if someone knows for sure that tomorrow a person is going to do something, it doesn't matter whether they feel that they have a choice in the matter, they're going to do that thing. Mm -hmm. well, I feel like that's a bit different than what Reiner did, because... Oh yeah, like... He was literally told, we can go home right now. Meanwhile, with Aaron, it's literally, um, you know, I don't know how else to describe it. It's fucking magic stuff, all right? Cause... Yeah, and that's, yeah, like, that's, no, like, don't get me wrong. I, I'm, I'm, like, I'm saying that they are similar in the fact that they don't seem to have really any choice, but... They are different in the fact that Aaron doesn't have a choice primarily due to a mixture of the narrative creating a fascistic dogma around his mind, as well as the absolute mindfuck that is the nature of the Titans. Time travel always makes stories fucky. There's just no way yeah, around it. Yeah, no, that's true. Like, like any there amount... was time travel later in that anime? Well, no, it. I, I mean, more like any kind of like time manipulation um, yeah, or. That's a better way to put it. Uh, Jerry, do you... I, I guess I should clarify before I continue. Jerry, do you care about spoilers for the fourth season? No, because I don't plan to finish it. Okay, the fourth here. season, the biggest. The biggest bombshell that drops is that the attack titan, the titan that Aaron Yeager has, has the ability to glimpse into the future memories of other attack titans. And what that is revealed to be possible, or like what shows, like how this is used in the narrative, is a scene in which Aaron, like, talks to his father who had the, tit the attack titan before him and tells him to kill the royal family. But you see, that's the thing. His father killing the royal family led to the events that allowed Aaron to take on the attack titan. So if Aaron just didn't convince his father to kill the royal family, Aaron would cease to exist. And as such, I don't think Aaron actually had a choice in doing that. Not to mention, like, throughout, like, the fourth season, there's so many points where he's just almost talking to himself and trying to convince himself that he is free, which is not something that you do if you're actually free, I dare say. Like, literally... So he in the... was trapped by his own power and going insane by his own power. That's definitely a part of it, but on top of that, there's the... all there, There's there's the surroundings of, like, the socioeconomic factors of the narrative as well, where he's dealing with uh, basically, his race lives on this island, and they have, like, literally everyone outside of the island, as far as Aaron is concerned at the beginning, uh, wants them dead, and if they don't do something, then they will be killed. And Aaron's solution, rather than, you know, trying to find some mode of peace, is... You had, uh, you had a solution, all right. Yeah, he... He had like the final solution. Yeah, the final solution. Yes. He uh 
You remember in a different conversation where I mentioned that uh, the walls have titans inside them? Well, I've always known that. I read the yeah, manga fair. and I have seen some of the anime. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. Yeah, uh, Aaron uses the power of the founder to wake up the fifty me the millions of fifty meter tall titans. Oh, the walls so the walls them... basically don't exist anymore. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he he destroyed the he he broke down the walls and is at at the point of the narrative where uh the second part of the final season ended. He how has many, how many how long is this final season going to be the final season? <laughs> it's It's been the final season for fucking three years, I think. But yeah, as of right now, within the anime, he is marching those titans to flatten the entire outside world. Oh! Which creates both one of the most terrifying as well as one of the most, like, single most original doomsday situations in a narrative i can think of like like a whole shit ton of steaming giants marching across and crushing the entire world someone somewhere is into that <laughs> hey hatch you i started, no. i started thinking about it you know my walkway i'm gonna do yeah mm -hmm. i think where i'm gonna have walking i'll use copper blocks that's an idea. Are you gonna want it to, uh, age or not? Oh no. You don't want it to age. I'm not sure what it would look better. What, what would look better, aged or not aged? I mean, that really depends on what you want. Would it be aged like cheese? How tall are you going to make your wall? Oh, it's already at the highest height. It's gonna be okay. I was just asking because yeah. a part of it meets one of the mountains. Oh yeah, I'm gonna destroy a bit of the mountain again to uh. Oh yeah, but oh. of course, once again, when Bright and I are playing on this world, we go down a rabbit hole of media, media analysis, and fucking philosophy. Yeah. Right. How deep is are you gonna make your hole? Like goddamn. This is a quarry. I mean, it's meant to yeah, be it's deep. Quarry. <laughs> Like, like the point of it is to get a shit ton of stone. To. Right, get out of that hole right now. Well, you why did you get quiet as, after I said she's gonna make it as deep as she needs to? Oh man, I love this deep hole. Nice and moist. <laughs> you love the deep hole because you're, like, hitting things out of it. That's what she said. <laughs> I got blocked. No, that's what. Form. No, that's what she said. What? No, it's why. <laughs> yeah, we need to change. That's what she said. To that's what she said. That's what within she said. within our. I feel like part of this conversation's going over my head. <laughs> 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 it is says, nine o'clock. I should probably go eat dinner. No. No eating allowed. Plus, I'm getting like a lot of copper in this quarry. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat dinner. I'll be back. All right. See you a bit. See ya. But yeah, I think I'll oh. go with aged. So I think it'll look a little bit better for the wall. Like fully aged? Yeah. Like fully oxidized? Yeah. Yeah, like the nice greenish tint? Yeah. Okay. I was thinking that it, it goes black, and I don't know why I was thinking that. No, it doesn't go black. <laughs> yeah. Have you have you seen pictures of Lady Liberty? <laughs> yes. Why, why, why are I... you thinking that copper turns black? I don't I... know. How do you... I know I said it earlier, but our school system really has failed you. <laughs> yeah, that's actually one thing I do want to say is I'm really upset that in history class, I didn't get to learn everything about world's history. Like, a lot of shit gets left out. A lot of stuff yeah. gets left out of our history. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the thing, like, 
with world history, like there's been so much of it that it's hard to fit it into an entire curriculum. What's more important that we get, you know, important things that relate to the modern day, especially expressed, but you know, American school system and all not wanting to dress the elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. These I are very cool frogs. Oh, I shall I'll, share I'll them. I'll wait for Jerry to get back to tell, uh, tell uh, what my dad thinks about the Korean and Vietnam War hatchet. Oh dear God. Oh God, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna wait for Jerry to get back. Why, why are you related to so many unbelievable, uh, like ungodly stupid people? <laughs> Observe the frog in dumb posts. There's a frog in dumb post. You may want to protect it. Bright is going to attempt to stack it. You can't stop me. God damn it. Fucking golden armor, fucking zombies running up on my shit, punching me in the face. They are very good frogs. God damn it, that's not what I want. I have one heart of health. Alright, that should be enough. We're going up, Hatchet. God, these zombies, they're relentless. Let's see, you said you put it in dumb posts. So yeah, I did go down. Well, I'm not putting a zombie villager in a hole. Aw, what are these frogs? They look like leaves. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I instantly got put back on this. Oh, God. Oh, God. There you go, bookworm. God damn it. Why is this controller so fucky? And why is my iron sword almost dull? Oh, right, because the fucking oh. mobs keep trying to murder me. I'm gonna go pee. Entertainer stream hatchet and bookworm. Also, hi, Adurna. Hi, Adurni. Yeah. Oh, now Chew's going to yeah. mm -hmm. So pretty much right as you show up, Bright and Chew are leaving to piss, and Aderna, or not Aderna, why did I say Aderna? Jerry left a little while ago to go eat. <laughs> oh my. Fucking creepers, I hate my life. Damn, it's pan week. Well... Looks like it's time to grab the pans and start being. <laughs> ah, yes. Pan week. The, the famed holiday in which we find pans and we beat them together. <laughs> yep. That's a yep. euphemism for fucking. <laughs> Wait, what? No. Wait. Okay, my brain... My brain went to like the person to the like woman who was standing outside of like uh <laughs> someone's apart uh, like their na her neighbor's apartment and was like beating pans together or some shit. Uh, uh, saying... <laughs> <laughs> like chanting I don't uh yeah. I don't get no. I don't get no sleep because of you. You get no sleep because of me. Uh. <laughs> I, I need. I, I need to find that. It... Okay. I need. To I'm gonna send this to you. All right. I want, before I continue going, I want to look in dumb post. Oh, ain't no. Okay. There we go. Oh, aren't those like the horned Gotta frogs? Get... Oh no, Malayan leaf frog. Uh, Malayan leaf frog. Never mind. I thought those were horned frogs for a second. Wash. 
Okay, I'm I'm gonna look. He's thinking like horn I'm gonna look, listen to this remix and like. Because because if if you're thinking about horned toads, those are lizards. No, I think there's a thing called horned frog. Uh, no, I think there's a thing called horned frogs. <coughs> They're similar. Hold on. I don't know. I just remember someone talking about it. Hold on, let me see if it actually is a thing on Google. The world's most trusted search engine. Oh shit, I forgot. I still have the sex dream thing up. Oh no, she she wasn't slamming pans together. She was sla slamming baking sheets. Oh god. Yeah, I was right. Argentine horned frog. Huh. Yeah, it's a thing. The more you know. Well, I'll send you a picture of it. I knew it was a thing. Images may be subject to copyright. Good thing I'm not putting it on stream. Okay. Well, that's, um, the, that's the thing. I'm gonna even put it... this... Oh, that's the thing. Even uh, you if... know what? I'm gonna put it in dumb posts. Yeah. Anyway, Hatchet, you're saying? That's the thing. Even if, like, it is subject to copyright, like, it could be next to no potential of repercussions. I'm like, just... this is just a dumb little stream. Their face looks like they're full I... of your mm -hmm. shit. <laughs> Hold on, it's loading. Well, Catch it. yeah. There it goes. Yeah, she, she wasn't, like, getting sleep, of course. Wait, what? She did this because... Uh, you two are combining different lines of conversation. <laughs> Oh, okay. Eh. <laughs> they look like they're full of your shit, right, Hatchet? <laughs> that one up, the second one you sent, looks like he's, like, giving you the death eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he's questioning whether or not he's going to kill you. I'll send it to you, too, Moderna. Okay. Hey, Bright. Yeah? Do you see what I put in dumb posts? At the moment, what? Now I'll, I'll move over from my phone. Let's see. No, not your YouTube and things. Oh, that. Oh. Yeah. Cute. Oh yeah. I do like frogs. Oh, these adorable little incompetent bastards. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of them hand a lot of people handle them wrong though, which is sad. <coughs> yeah. Because you're supposed to wear gloves mm -hmm. when handling them, but you you see videos of them not doing it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh Dern, I'm not sure if you noticed, but the reason why you're supposed to wear gloves is because your sweat and oils in your skin can seep into theirs and it's poison. Oh yeah. So, yeah, for uh, most amphibians have really porous skin because it's how they like they literally breathe through their skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is why if before this is a PSA before you buy a pet, look into bu uh, before buying them so you you don't accidentally kill them or harm them in any way. And even mm -hmm. more so, make sure that you're like looking at an accredited source that actually oh, yeah. has some level of research behind it mm -hmm. because here's the thing aquarium stores never give proper advice on how to take care of your fish yeah. specifically Ooh. like like especially like like if you ask like an aquarium store worker at the time granted like this isn't all their fault they're probably paid by commission to some extent so like they want to make more sales so that they can actually put food on the table but what that leads mm -hmm. to is commonly selling people uh fish that are either going to get abused by necessity of how they are sold or screwing people over because the fish grows way larger than they than they can handle like for instance common plecos mm -hmm. like they're commonly sold as quote unquote algae eaters as babies and they can get up to about a foot long. Hmm. Interesting. Like they can get really fucking big. 
So then people don't know what to do with them because assuming they don't accidentally feed into the whole fish grow to the size of their tank thing, oh, which yeah. is basically just if you malnourish a fish and mistreat a fish, they will have stunted growth. Mm -hmm. uh, assuming that you actually properly take care of your pleco, most people are not going to have an aquarium that is large enough to sustain them. So then you have to find a place mm -hmm. to send them out to. And like responsible people will probably just take them back to a pet store. But the more common annoying thing is the fact that people just toss them into a local river. Oh yeah. Oh. Which, which is why which is which is why common plecos are an extremely invasive species here in America. Yeah. Also I'm Wait. not sure if oh. are we tossing into a river? Oh, not people. We're, admonish um, we're admonishing people for tossing common plecos into rivers. Yeah, yeah there's actually, this is actually another reason why um, tengus get mistreated. I'm not sure if you know about them, but because I do research yeah. on them because I do want one as a, pe as a pet someday. Uh, they really like human affection, and if you don't give them, they'll starve themselves, they'll starve themselves to death. If you don't, if they yeah. don't get affection and... Mm. A lot of people, a lot of them do because they think, oh, it's just a, Aww. it's just a tank lizard. You just stare at it. You we'll have to give love to the, to the Chungus dog. Yeah. Oh, shit. I don't think <laughs> so. So they're chat. attached to our... Wait. Oh, no. I'm... Okay, so I was going to make a joke. That they are like touch starved. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, like I said, PSA. Yeah. Get incredible sources and make sure you can actually take care of the pet before you actually go for it. And for the love of God, if you yeah. can't take, if you find out that you can't take care of the pet anymore, don't just fucking release it into a local river. God damn it. Oh yeah. Fly away, be no, just, Don't release it to a local habitat. <clears throat> What'd you say, Chew? I just said, fly away, be free. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... Well, that's not going to really work well when I'm talking about a fish. <laughs> they're a flying fish. Yeah, but they... Well, they're called uh, flying fish, but they literally just glide. You're, you're telling the fish that it can't achieve its dreams. You're not the yeah. American school system. Don't crush our children. Don't crush people's dreams. <laughs> you know, that's the thing. I'm fine with crushing people's dreams if their dream is to do something that is physically completely impossible for them. Because then it's just cruel to let them continue to dream of something that is physically impossible. I'm also okay with crushing people's dreams. <laughs> then what the fuck are you on about? My morals don't apply to me. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's, that's just the dishwasher running that I just turned on. That's actually one other thing I was trying to think of. Like, with my character, I also think that immortality is a sort of a burden to have. It 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 really it really would be. Yeah. Because then you yeah, would really literally would form relationship yeah. after relationship only to watch those people die and you will never be able to see them again. Which granted mm -hmm. happens when you're mortal, but you would have to experience that mm -hmm. multiple times over. Way yeah. more times, yeah. And, and like that's how to experience it, like, um, like, like eons, like over eons and eons. Oh yeah. You'd you'd essentially be Porky Minch from Mother Three, except you wouldn't be a fascist. <laughs> Well, because I don't know that. Well, you see, that's the thing. Like, it's it's 
like an interesting line of mm -hmm. uh, causality because like at the very least within a lot of media surrounding vampires that I've seen and specifically within the Elder Scrolls series um, an aspect of vampires commonly being extremely reclusive comes from the fact that with their immortality comes that fact that they're constantly losing loved ones so they end up secluding themselves and becoming increasingly uh, arrogant and distant from other living things because they are avoiding such things. Such a Oh no, but mm -hmm. he doesn't have like any actual loved ones. He's just a little shit. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. I know that. I'm just like, I'm just like kind of like generally talking about some of the other things that comes to mind when we talk about mortality <laughs> yeah honestly like t like thinking about immortality is like really interesting yeah. yeah like that's the thing honestly like i'm kind of at this point where like i would quite possibly be willing to take on the burden of immortality if it meant that i could a play more video games and B, learn as much as I possibly could about humans in the natural world. So you wouldn't mm -hmm. miss us, Hatchet? What? You wouldn't miss us, Hatchet? I mean, I'd obviously miss y'all, but when it gets right down to it, I think that I would be willing to make the trade-off of immense personal uh, emotional anguish for being able to learn more and more about the world around us. <laughs> it's so I actually confirmed that um the kind of immortality that Quirky has is complete immortality, meaning he cannot be murdered and he yeah. cannot die from any natural or unnatural causes, meaning he will literally survive um, the end of the universe as we know it, he will still yeah, be he, here. He he will be here after, uh, well, yeah, obviously I'd want to watch more hentai book form, obviously. <laughs> I want to see where the hentai, where, where, where hentai develops going forward into the future. How will humans come up with more and more degenerate ways to depict other humans getting fucked? That's actually one thing I'm kind of curious. Since my character's Join. body is has no gender or sex or anything, like it doesn't have private parts. I'm just it's wondering... fully androgynous. Yeah, I think the word you're looking for. Yeah, I I'm just wondering how would anyone draw hen hentai of it if it can't be fucked? <laughs> I mean, you still got a mouth. <laughs> oh my god! You, and you, I mean, the internet mouth. can add things. You've got. A you mouth. probably already. You've have got a ass. mouth and a butt, don't you? You also have an ass, so... No, like, yeah. uh, well, maybe, I don't know. Not uh, to mention, let's just be yeah. frank, uh, Arrow Guru does exist, and you're capable of coming back no matter how many times you're killed. Yeah. That would be a, that would be a playground for Arrow Guru. <laughs> Is that the one where you, <laughs> they kill the person, uh, they kill the person or something like that? Uh, Arrow Guru specifically pertains to some amount of like physical bodily trauma like blood wounds amputations stuff like that uh, and ooh. if they die within the hentai then it's also added into snuff oh ooh. so for instance something can be snuff without being arrow guru and something can be arrow guru without being snuff like i've seen uh like things where a character is strangled to death and then that's snuff, but it's not considered Arrow Guru because there's not a noticeable amount of gore. Mm -hmm. Like I said, there's a lot of degenerate ways to depict humans getting fucked by other things. So my character, if if mm. I do get popped where people are just gonna do arrow girl shit to it. Well, it's <laughs> less well that's the thing. Like it would be a well, playground. Don't, it would don't be show a, that on Twitch. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a playground for Arrow Guru, but it's all like Arrow Guru is also one of those really niche hentai genres. Mm -hmm. Like it's like it's out there, and if you look for it, it's there, and it's very abundant. 
but it's one of those that people rarely actually publicly talk about enjoying because there's again this weird social stigma around people enjoying fiction fictional media when it pertains to you know hentai where oh, it doesn't yeah. exist in other yeah. forms of media like we like we all like we've all seen a slasher film and it's not considered weird to watch a slasher film mm -hmm. but it's immediately a problem somehow if you find sexual gratification in watching that happen even though it's still like literally the same basic type of transaction it's still a fictional medium looking at fictional actions that do not pertain to reality i'm glad jury's not here yeah <laughs> yeah honestly i'd probably be cutting myself off a lot if jury was still here <laughs> oh yeah speaking of which um i really am annoyed with that um with well it, it, it horror movies came up with like a lot of I had only peed. I hadn't even left to eat yet, and I could come back and hear I was missed. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no. Oh yeah, you guys forgot Spood exists. Oh wait, we... Spood heard everything. Oh no! Oh yes, no! My computer is in Spood's room, not my room. <laughs> Spood, it's do not tell. It's literally next to Spood's bed. We, we were we were not, sick. oh we, my god i was i was mentioning that i'm that like i would be cutting myself off a lot because we were talking <sighs> about stuff that could be triggering for me yeah oh oh that's basically things. yeah well like, don't worry really i was not. peeing up till this point okay. i am obviously no longer peeing are you sure yes have you checked trust that. <laughs> i don't trust that sounds like fake news <laughs> Fake news. I, peed, is... I wiped. I washed my hands. It's just in. Jerry is currently pissed. <laughs> okay, and let's stop that. I didn't really dry my hands because I have extra thick skin and my hands are kind of like sponges. Yeah. <laughs> also, Jerry, would you like to hear what my Sponge uh, snake. dad said about the North, uh, about the Korean and Vietnam War? Please don't. Your dad um, said something about the Korean and Vietnam War. Honestly, oh no. it's it's just as stupid as oh what you're no. thinking, but in the opposite direction of stupidity. It's really weird. Well, yeah. I would like to say, I hope it's not anything too bad. He I'm talking about anything, <laughs> I, I have a feeling it's going to be pretty bad. He said basically we just sent people over the, over there because we are overpopulated. There are so many dog whistles in there. What? There are so many dog whistles. I'm pretty sure that your lawn is, was probably overflowing with puppies. God damn. There was no overpopulation in the United States back then. The wealthy sent people into the war specifically to make money off of the war. Like I, I said, wish I could say there was different reasons. They told the public different reasons. Then yeah. the real reasons came out later, but... Like I said, it's it's just as fucked up as what you're thinking of, but it's in the opposite bizarre direction. <laughs> I have literally never heard anyone do conspiracy theories around the Vietnam and Korean Wars and aim it at the U.S. is getting overpopulated from the baby boom. <laughs> <laughs> even though like the baby boom was actually like one of the key economic factors that helped the united states become the global superpower that it became yeah at the same time that also became a key factor for why it failed later on yeah i mean yeah like it's it's actually like unbelievably ironic baby boomers grew up in what they would nowadays call a socialist utopia and then later decided we need to get rid of all of this and <laughs> now they're complaining about like gen x or not gen x gen uh gen millennials and gen z people it pointing out on, that shit is uh, it depends on the baby boomer on which one they complain about and most of the people yeah. we call baby boomers aren't even baby boomers they're a different group 
most baby boomers actually have no idea what's going on. They're like, what? Because they're so old. Well, I mean, baby boom. I mean, baby boomers are. What is it between? Uh, like pretty much anyone over the age of sixty, unless they were alive before World War Two. Let me look up. Uh... Like my parents are baby boomers. I had no idea it was nighttime. Uh... Um, well, okay, so the last year Let was in like uh, uh, baby boomers sixties. Yeah. The baby boomers are people b born between 1946 and 1964. So it's not everyone after a certain date. It... Mm -hmm. I believed for the longest time, I like I was told for the longest time that I was a millennial. <laughs> but it just turned out. No, that... you're Gen Z. You I are know, Gen I, Z. I, I am Gen a millennial. Z like me. Who Gen, is a millennial? Gen -ish. Um, but it turns out <laughs> my, my mom just got confused about, like, she she thought that <clears throat> the, the name Millennial, and I can get where she got this mistake, I probably would too, that, um, Millennial meant anyone that was born on or within a certain time close to yeah. the, of the, the new millennium like yeah. when 2000 came around yeah that's yeah. what i thought it meant for the longest mm -hmm. time too aren't we great at naming things all the names we come up with things absolutely make sense yeah it turns out to be actually a they're, to be... they're called millennials specifically because we were born around the new millennium yeah, around After the, new, the new millennium is Generation X like you. No, so Z it is a good name. Actually, no, but... I've 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 heard you the mean Gen Generation Z. Z. I've heard that Gen Z starts in the mid nineties. Mm. Yeah, Gen Z started in, in the mid nineties. Yeah. Oh whereas I grew Gen up Z started thinking, in the nineties. I grew up thinking that millennial meant anyone that was born like like yeah, 1999 or 2000 or 2001. That's what I thought yeah. millennial meant. Yeah. And then I realized, hey, wait, my entire life is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, what's next? Are you gonna tell me that inflammable? means the exact same thing as flammable. Are you gonna tell me that the Earth is flat? But yeah, baby boomers oh are around God. 58 and 76 years of age, meaning most of the people causing trouble are actually Generation X, which is between 57 and 42 years old. Well, that's the thing. Like, the, the majority... Well, actually, I'd be willing to guess that a decent amount of the... Like Republicans in power are Zoom are like it's a, it's probably a mixture between Gen Those Xers in and power are probably honestly like the silent generation they're so dang old. A decent handful of them, yeah. <laughs> but like the main thing that like I'd be going to is the fact that like the generation that allowed like that that we're on board with and we're super happy to let reagan just bulldoze <clears throat> all of the united states uh social safety nets uh that like the generation that allowed that to happen was primarily baby boomers because that's the generation that elected reagan for the most part if i remember correctly I just rem I just remember that we're currently seeing like Generation Alpha come into existence right now. That completely mm -hmm. skipped my mind because everyone that is Generation Alpha is a child, and you already know how I feel about children. I don't. I can't stand them. So why would I? keep that information in my head 
all things, why are they called Generation Alpha? <laughs> there's no more. There's no more letters after Z. Z, but, Z, but like the they letter didn't... after Y. Well, yeah, but there wasn't a Y generation. There's X, Millennials, and then Z. No, no, no. Like, we no, don't necessarily... uh, Millennials are Gen, Gen Y. Millennials well, yeah, are but... Gen Y. But that's the thing. Like, like we're not naming yeah, all the just generations millennials. after those. Oh, yeah, but like, do, like have know. you ever they heard... They are named after those... But like, I've like, I actually have heard people call them Gen Y. So. I, I as a millennial have it. never it's heard myself rare. ever called Gen Y, and I've heard a lot of people blaming me for things. So why is it? Uh, uh, this is gonna be a really stupid joke, but I'm gonna make it, and I'm not gonna care. Um, which is why you're disclosing just... it. Can we just call Gen Y Jenny? Get oh my. Hang on. Uh, Hang on. I'll type I, it out so it we, makes more we can, sense. Oh, I get, I get Why it. does this sound Cease. like you're making a joke reference to the song Jenny? The. Or, or are you talking about like. Like, like from uh, what is it called? Uh, Dona oh, Yori, Yori, robot elf dragon. Right now, you sound now. like you're you, you sound like you're trying to talk through a ham radio. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> now I want ham. I, you know, you know, Apika. I wish I uh, could eat, want... but I can't. Ah, uh, Pika, you want you want some meat, do you? Be quiet. <laughs> I have to say, it is reasonable to want meat without dirty jokes being slung around. Do you want it to be well, yeah, nice, but big, she's... girthy, juicy meat, or just regular skinny white meat? God damn, y'all hush up. <laughs> oh, yeah, you see, that's the do thing. You, that's do the... you see what you made me do? You make me speak with an accent that isn't even mine. Are you proud of yourself? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. But also, but uh, Jerry, you see, that's 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 the thing. Like for anyone else talking about wanting to eat meat, like it wouldn't be taken there. But this is Chew talking about wanting meat. Well, yeah, but I talk about wanting giant sausages, and the only people that make jokes over that is food. Well, I think partially because I mean, a lot I of us are... I would make jokes about it. I would also probably make jokes about it, but yeah, I also think that some of us are, generally speaking, more wary around trying to avoid triggering you. Yeah. Like, when, when I when I mock Chu, I know I'm not going to trigger him in any way that's not what he wants. Wait, 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 who said anything about wanting? <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, you're a brat and you like to be teased. Don't just think I'm gonna let that slide by. Yep. You're a brat and you like being teased. We've already established brat? this. Wait, mm -hmm. bookworm, what do you mean? Because I said a nice skinny white meat. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was basically I just... Still... Oh, uh, sorry. Oh. Uh, no, go ahead, Brett. Uh, I was basically saying, like, big, juicy, uh, girthy meat, or, like, skinny white meat. That's what I said. <laughs> so when I asked you that. That's why Bookman brought that up. Damn. <laughs> that really does sound like a skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, what I was gonna mention is, I still think that it's super fucking funny how, like, um, older racist stereotypes, as time passes, can end up, like, becoming the exact opposite of what they meant by it. Specifically, that old trope of, uh, black guys having big dicks. <laughs> <laughs> back when that was first, back when that was first made as a trope, it was thought that having a large penis meant that you were uncivilized. 
Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. So a whole bunch of white yeah. people start saying that black men have big dicks. And then now in the modern well, day... Some, some people are... Do you think maybe well, some he's people more still compensating believe, uh... for something? Uh... Are you okay, Jerry? Yeah. I just think it's kind of hilarious. Yeah. Also, it was uh, ironically part of the thing they tried to set up to make it like to the propaganda back then to make it seem like black men were out for the white ladies. Yeah. But now because of things like black men, black dicks, there's slogans like once you go black, you'll never go back. Yeah, I like, I yeah. actually um, had to explain yeah. to Adorno what that meant. <laughs> oh! I heard that before. So Adorno knows now. Yes. How do you I, feel about that, Adorno? I successfully ruined Adorno's day. Hmm. <laughs> Can uh do uh th this is this is Hatchet Head news. We're here on the scene live uh looking to get a statement from Moderna. How do you feel about the accusations that have just been levied? What I accusation I mean how do you, how do you feel about having been publicly told or having been publicly uh it, it, uh explained to have not known what that euphemism meant? Um, what the fuck I'm was that? eight, so why would I know? <laughs> I'm going to say, I am a very naive person at times, and even I knew that. <laughs> I am surprised. I, I'm, I, you're not going to believe. Uh, wait, no, I'll let you finish. Think of that well, was, for a moment, Adurna. Yeah. Even Goddammit. I knew. <laughs> You're you're robotting a Derna. We can't really tell what you're saying. Oh yeah, no. Sure. Hey, Derna, uh, switch out your uh, microphone for my ham radio uh, so we can hear uh, so we can hear you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right? Do you even know what a ham radio sounds like? Kind of. I feel like you're too young to actually know so, what ham radio sounds like because by the time you were born, people barely even use normal radios. I've seen one. That doesn't count. I know. <laughs> Honestly, I, I've heard radios. You're so still roboting. Probably. Moderna, I would love to hear what you're saying, but you are a robot. <laughs> It sounded like you said namaste. <laughs> like in between the static we hear, namaste. Oh no. Not at all. Oh my god. <laughs> so this is what it sounds like a dirty turning into an anime pro tag. Okay. Oh. Wait, turning into I think it's an internet issue. Yeah, this is like. <clears throat> Sorry, Adurna. We know your internet's notorious for not being very reliable. Here, here. That's 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 simple. Oh well, that's turned turned How off my hotspot. Oh, <laughs> you oh. turned off your hotspot. Oh. Yep. Oh. Wow. Was, I was playing. That, that's all it took. I, I didn't know you had a hot spot <laughs> on? So there's a, a hot there's a, a, there's a spot on a person's body that's hot? Good to know. What? No, no, that's not <laughs> what it is. I mean, I would I would I mean, I would hope that there are hot regions on someone's body otherwise they should probably go to the emergency room right that was the absolute um, 
stupidest <laughs> fucking innuendo you have ever well, made. Well, Ch Ch Chu, well, like, in, in that case, they would be in the morgue, actually, probably. <laughs> they would be in the Most morgue. likely. I'd like to comment, the hottest parts of the body are also typically the smelliest. <laughs> <laughs> what, oh is my that? God. what is that factoid? <laughs> well, it's true! <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's probably true, but it's <laughs> From the- one of the parts that smells the most is the armpits, and it's also one of the spots that sweats the most and radiates the most heat. Uh, areas around the joints typically sweat more, and they also produce more heat. The back of the neck, for me at least, I don't know about everyone else, is a place that radiates a lot of heat, but it also sweats a lot if you have hair that's not sure as heck. But, I mean, ultimately speaking, it does make sense considering how, on a lot of people, the hottest parts of their body is their ass. <laughs> Order tits. Oh my god. Or perhaps their, their, their member. I think the hottest parts on <laughs> well, your body is inside, you know, where your internal organs are. <sighs> mm. So in other words, so like, um, she wants yeah. to be touched in the hottest part of the spot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh no. Preferably oh, with a Why? Why? Why do you still have speaking privileges? <laughs> you will never I feel like you me. guys thinking of doing something. I don't have the brain power to do that right <laughs> now then do it is, is it because oh, yeah. i made you I, is I it because i made you oh. is it because i made you too happy by talking about you getting dicked <laughs> it's also oh my god goddamn research paper that's well that's fair. fair i have only just now started the second paragraph essentially meaning i have been doing nothing <laughs> Hmm. This thing is due in hmm. two days. Eesh. <clears throat> Peter, well, that sounds a lot like you need How to many pages? a lot very fast. How many pages? Four minimum. Eh, you, you can do that in a night. I can't do that in a night with ADHD. <laughs> If you can do that in a hyperfix state. Okay, okay, okay. If chew. It makes you okay, chew. Here's the solution. Larger font size. <laughs> that's not allowed. I know, I'm joking. Yeah, that's not allowed. I wish I could, though. That I would be good. I actually tried to get away with that when I was younger. And I think one time it actually <laughs> did work. I have big cat there, well, four pages. It could work. <laughs> okay. Te te technically, it could work if your font size is just barely larger. Yeah, like, yeah instead large of like 11, to, like, make an impact. Yeah, like instead of 11, it's 12 or 13. No, 12 mm -hmm. is standard. Oh, 12 then yeah, 12 is standard oh okay i did not 12 know that. times I... new roman yeah i did not know that <laughs> my english teacher apparently was going off of older stuff because they thought it was 11. Huh. it was always 12 so whatever they were going off of was something this is why you should never learn academic stuff from old people well that's the thing they were really good at their job it's just yeah, I guess the, they probably had a handful of older things that didn't work as well. Back in my time. Like I said, it was always uh, 12 font times New Roman. It's just there was a lot of time, like, basically millennials for the most part and everyone before millennials had to research doing books instead of the internet. So, back when Moses walked the earth. Hey! Oh my god. Well, you, you see, that's the shit. thing. 
Oh, well, shoot, God. shoot. That's the thing. <laughs> you just named a time that didn't exist. Moses didn't exist. Yeah. Got him. So then, does that mean Jonah didn't get eaten by the whale? It, well, Maybe for starters, it was a large fish, fish or whatever. That wasn't a whale. Yeah, I'm for starters, it was a fish. And second, no. No, in fact, Jonah did not get eaten by the fish. I'm sorry, Chu, that your your biblical icon did not, in fact, get bored. Tragic. <laughs> but yeah, if y'all didn't know this, um, researchers out of Israel have kind of come to the conclusion that the historicity of Moses existing is almost, like, almost none. There's pretty much no chance that Moses actually existed. Especially considering the fact that um, the Whoa. Jews were never in, or like the the Hebrew uh, tribe never was in Egypt. Yeah, I've seen a <laughs> few things saying that before as well. Yeah. Although, for some reason, it's really hard to find that information online, and I don't know why, but when you find it, they have a lot of verified sources. I think it's partially just because, like, actual properly, like, proper academic sources are kind of difficult to find online. Uh, besides that, there's mm -hmm. the fact that, you know, here um, in... Unless in you have... Okay. Unless you have... Uh, unless you're, like, in college, you have yeah. access to a library. And you have access to a library database. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But and besides even, that, they're not even there's... fully. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, from true. there, I would also be willing to put money on it that a part of it is just the fact that uh, we here in the United States have the highest propensity of mythic literalist Christians or creationists, which have the least interest in actually getting proper exegesis. Well, would... I've heard even in other countries, people don't like hearing the idea that the Jewish people were never enslaved in Egypt, even though there's literally no proof of it. In fact, through Egypt's history, though they've had slaves, there, most of the people who did a lot of the work that was attributed to slaves were actually farmers on their off-seasons and other things. Yeah. Well, and don't, and... Even, don't, don't even dare tell them that jesus would have been dark-skinned they will fucking implode <laughs> there's a buttload of dark-skinned jewish people still in africa well, don't yeah tell which them ironic they will, which... they will explode oh, i don't care which, they can explode just, into dark jewish exactly. people and because which, dark jewish people still exist which that's ironically... exactly why you should tell them i want which... to see people explode <laughs> Which, ironically enough, kind of is a perfect example of the fact that uh, Israel has become extremely fucked over because oh, a lot you of know the, that, uh... yeah, a lot of those a lot of those black Jewish people that can directly relate their tribe's ancestry to the original Hebrews have a shit ton of time actually tr or have a shit ton of issues actually trying to enter Israel. Because oh, did you also black. know those same dark-skinned uh, is those same dark-skinned Jewish people are typically more Jewish than the white ones? Probably, yeah. Yeah, I've seen a lot of stuff on it. They've uh, not really the white ones are typically were typically a they spent a lot of time in Europe and other places, yeah. and their genetics dithered out. Meanwhile, the ones in Africa they didn't really mix with other groups, meaning they're pure blood. As much as that matters. It doesn't matter. I just think it's hilarious. Yeah, I know. It is funny. Black ones like these outsiders when they're more insider than the white ones. Not to mention their skin tone's probably closer to what, like, David would have had. Well, yeah, because I'm sorry that they don't like it, but the Bible mainly takes place in different areas of Africa and the Middle East. I'm Primarily sorry that they the don't East. like it. Yeah, as far it, as I know, it, it's almost exclusively in the Middle East. Yeah, it is. Almost, if yeah. you tell them that, 
if you tell regular but I will say the Christian... Middle East is still on some of the Middle East is still on the continent of Africa I believe yeah yeah fair 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 if although it, ironically I mean, enough <laughs> or sorry I'll, I'll let you I'll let you speak in a sec too uh, ironically enough, the main portions of the Bible that aren't in the Middle East are also the portions that have to do with Egypt, which the Jews were never in Egypt. Yeah. So that's like a completely mythologized section of the book. Yeah. That, is, that is hilarious. Maybe they just wanted to be like, you know what? Egypt is so like popular and advanced and well-known. We want to say we were part of this group too, or or these this group was mean to us because we're awesome and yeah. It's I'd be willing to guess that it's from like later conflicts, like when they were taken over by uh, Babylon. I think that's... it's actually less likely relating to Egyptians at all, and more likely that's what it was later uh, derived into. Well, because... no, if I well. Like, if I remember correctly, um, basically what we know as the Torah or the Bible really started to be canonized and worked on uh, while Judea was under Babylonian rule. And at that time, Egypt was one of the biggest threats to Babylon. So there's a good chance that that was added in around that time because, well, the uh, Judea was under the control of Babylon. Well, yeah, but another thing to think about, too, is back then they were trying to literally canonize their entire history and culture into one thing. So instead yeah. of being literal, they were trying to put all these fantasy stories so they could learn. Well, yeah, I like that's ultimate like, yeah, like the people who were canonizing this work weren't trying to make a literal interpretation no, no. They, they were trying to go people like see this is what morals are like this is yeah. what you should do this didn't actually happen we just really want you to know these things or at the very least like where there was a believed level of historicity it was primarily through uh you know oral storytelling so the actual historicity of a lot of it is also dubious at best yeah. also they used to have more than one god it just evolved into one god over time yeah so like i was saying before the story of moses and egypt might have actually uh chain might have been an earlier story that was changed oh yeah almost certainly so Same with, it, the original yeah. probably had nothing to do with egypt yeah, almost certainly. Same with, like, Noah. Like, there's, like, dozens of stories from other related cultures in the region about massive flooding because uh, the Hebrews originally split off from Mesopotamia, a valley that had a shit ton of flooding very frequently. <laughs> but anyway, Chu was trying to say something. Do you remember what it was, Chu? It was just going to be a short joke where if you want to make a modern day wine mom suburban Christian really show their true colors, just tell them that Jesus was dark skinned. And mm -hmm. that, but he was. And that, if he existed in any way, he had to have dark skin. Well, yeah, but that's the point. Like, and a beard. Let, let, let the chew finish. Do you, you there, chew? I am. I'm just waiting to make sure. <laughs> you're you're chewing in chat. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what I was saying was, if you really want them to reveal themselves and let them lose the mask completely. Just tell them that Jesus was dark skinned, and that he was uh, he was also Jewish. Tell yeah, them that's... that, and watch what happens. Yeah, that's actually one of the litmus tests I've used in the past to check whether or not I'm even going to try to spend any amount of time talking to a Christian around here. 
asked them, hey, did you know that Jesus was was black, or at the very least dark-skinned, and see how they react? Yeah, that's the actual thing, is... Uh... I don't know. He's also okay. guaranteed to have had a beard. Here's he just looks like closer to a uh, modern Muslim. All right. Also, here's the thing. I'm Christian, but here's the thing. Even I know that Christ Jesus was Jewish and black. <laughs> that means that you are one of the lucky few who <laughs> actually understand how genetics works locations around the world works that's mainly because actually I, I like world history so i studied it and i was like wait a minute if he's from here then he wouldn't be <laughs> white like wait what <laughs> also think of this the virgin mary was middle eastern too how many how many of her depictions actually look middle eastern none none like literally none and I guess that's the thing, like, to some extent, I can understand that, like, this, like, I can see how this could happen in absence of racism. Mm -hmm. Like, white people primarily see white people when they're telling these stories. They're all telling stories. I'm pretty sure it happened time. because of oh, racism. No, 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 let me, let me, let me finish. Uh, like, I think they're, like, basically what I'm thinking is that there was... A period where it had much less to do with race because um the concepts around race just weren't there for a long time especially like near to after the roman empire fell like they had a completely different concept of what of what race was and these kind of yikesy modern ideas of white jesus are kind of a product of a mixture of that time where people just didn't have the same concept of race mixing with the later development of whiteness as a racial construct. That's what I'm thinking. Mm, it still existed to some degree, even if it was in a different form. I mean, yeah, like, racism has probably always existed. It was just not based, like, at the time, it was like not really based on skin tone yeah that's true for uh romans it was if you're roman or... yeah exactly like, how roman are you when were you were you born in a subsidy in, were you born in one of the roman conquestors or were you born here in rome itself yeah I think and... that's such an ego thing to do, but they totally did it. Yeah. They they judged people based on how Roman they thought they were, and so much bullshit. What the hell is this meme on my timeline? Also, oh shit, I found emeralds. Also! Based. That is cool. Also, there's one thing I want to mention before I let J Jerry go on. Um, there was actually a, a debate at my church once. Oh no. Uh, about Jesus. Oh. And oh, I no. won because of history. Hell and, yeah. And geology uh, stuff. That Jesus was black and Jewish. <laughs> yeah. No one could disprove it's... me. <laughs> and you see, that's the thing. Like, at the very least, the Jewish part, you literally just have to read the Bible. That's all. Yeah. It, that's literally all mm -hmm. it takes. He was born to a Jewish woman and raised in a Jewish family. Like, he was Jewish. There's just well, no like, disputing that. If you. Also, if you read, I, I think if you read his description, like in the Bible, it's clear he's not like white. Yeah. Well, like not like like my skin tone. Yeah, but he's darker skinned. Yeah, they were so mm -hmm. mad about the fact that they couldn't disprove. Yeah, open sea. Like Coats that's even mauled. That's again yeah. the best. That, that's like one of the funniest uh like genres of poning conservative Christians is literally just reading the Bible to them and pointing out where their perspectives are not actually formed from the Bible. Because I mean when we ultimately get down to it, or Jerry, were you gonna say something? Because I just realized I'm about to go on a long ass tangent. I'm gonna go get my dinner. Oh, okay, okay that's fair. Okay. Have fun acquiring food. But, uh, 
Specifically, I learned this a bit more lately in one of Genetically Modified Skeptics videos. Um, that was talking about, I think his... What's the name of the video? Something on the lines of why... Uh, whether or not God exists is irrelevant. And basically, mm -hmm. he was pointing out that uh, from a sociological standpoint, religion is commonly viewed having a <laughs> a trinity of of elements specifically uh there's belief behavior and belonging and most mm. of the time within like just practical the way that humans interact belief is a uh, subsequent of one or one of or both of the other two of uh of behavior and belonging. So someone is born to a Christian family and feels welcomed and loved within said family, thus their belief in the God is uh, pulled from that. Or another example that he gave is uh, another aspect of behavior is, for instance, if you have a, if you engage in a ritual and have an experience within that ritual that informs your belief, that would still be considered an aspect of behavior. So in other words, in, in my case, I think it's kind of funny. I have a unique situation when it comes to my becoming a theist. Like, I worked out a lot of my positions on my epistemology before I had the experiences that led me to believe in the gods. But even then, I can still confidently say that it was those experiences that led to my belief. I didn't get to my belief without behavior. And as such, mm -hmm. the thing that uh, GM Skeptic uh, ends up kind of concluding with is basically saying, hey, atheists, our main focus shouldn't be on dunking on whether or not God exists. It needs to be on trying to weave in better philosophical and moral compasses into the other two sections of religiosity because those are the two that inform belief and those are the two that actually affect people the most so if mm -hmm. we weed if we weed more positive christian behavior not only will you over time make beliefs better surrounding the deity but you'll just tangibly help more people in the in in the modern day mm -hmm. Which I really appreciate, and I shared that perspective with my therapist, and of course he also loved it. I think I've mentioned this before. My therapist is an awesome fucking, uh, like, really, really progressive Catholic. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. It's really interesting talking to him. Loafs and Chews. Very good. Chews said they put nothing in X-rated. What did you put in X-rated? They want to grab someone's butt and hold their hand. Mm. Hot. <laughs> but mm. from Again. Um. Yep. Good job. Good luck. No wholesome. Yeah, there's no wholesome. Only lewd. Mhm. Mm yeah, grabbing your hand or grabbing your butt, and then choose pressing both buttons. No, I don't want to grab anyone's hand butt. Is wholesome. Oh, so you want someone to grab your butt? Mm-hmm. Possibly I spank it. it. Was a, I just thought it was a cute meme. <laughs> Perhaps mm -hmm. someone spanking your butt right. while you're getting spit roast. <laughs> She's gonna oh kill you guys. Like they're gonna randomly mute you. <clears throat> Making shoe meltdown is my. <laughs> did did how'd you get muted? Uh yep. Yeah. <laughs> Hatchet. Fucking fucking little dumbass little fucking mouse bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Literally nineteen eighty four, yeah. Anyway, as I was saying while I was muted, uh um making Chew have a break have have a a small mouth might <laughs> 
is one of my favorite pastimes when playing Minecraft. Uh, Hatchet, they did it again. Yes, I know. Still... I saw. That's why I restarted my statement. <laughs> they did it twice. <laughs> Little shit. <laughs> Well, he, he is a brat. Exactly. But yeah, that's a that's a part of why I really love dramatically modified skeptics' work. I think he's easily one of the best, like, atheist voices in the community at this point. Yeah, definitely. I also like, uh, like, in that video, he even brought in, yeah, in that video, he brought in a uh, cosmic skeptic, which, generally speaking, I'm a touch more wary of because he's had some history of associating with some really problematic people, but he's not too problematic himself, mm -hmm. as far as I know. But either way, uh, he had a uh, cosmic skeptic come in and kind of talk about his perspective when it comes to, like, whether or not belief is an important thing to discuss and specifically an aspect of the video was like asking whether or not debating christians was actually just helping them further belief which ultimately it probably is but the way that cosmic skeptic talked about it is like he's again in the position of what you tend to expect from an atheist that is educated on philosophy being that he would be more considered an agnostic from a philosophical perspective he just lacks yeah. a belief in gods and he kind of talks about how like when he sees someone say that they can give a logical argument that will convince him of the existence of a god or gods for him being a student of philosophy at oxford <laughs> He, he talked about how he finds that genuinely cute, like genuinely interesting, and he wants to kind of suss it out. Like he wants to listen to what that person has to say and see whether or not they actually, their, their positions actually hold water. Most of the time, it doesn't really hold the best water because, again, the, like the, the basis of most uh, belief surrounding spirituality is somewhere sourced from belonging or behavior but mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and i thought that was a really really interesting perspective for him to kind of talk about and the thing is i don't think many gods or or god uh, literally make themselves present at all oh oh no, that's the thing like when we're <laughs> talking about deity we're talking about something that is otherwise like things that are otherwise like inherently hard to understand for our dumb little monkey brains mm -hmm. and like for someone to believe in it Ooh. it pretty much necessitates some amount of experience with the deity or some level of surrounding factors there are a hand i mm -hmm. i have to to be clear i have met a handful of pagans who have come to belief in the gods through solely logical avenues they're just really fucking rare and i have never actually listened to too much of what they've said because they rarely talk about it that i've seen yeah mm -hmm. like even ocean specifically mm -hmm. mentioned that uh he has a friend that he <coughs> didn't name because it would out <coughs> them on on uh, on on the socials but he mentioned that he has a friend who believes in the gods and is a prolific uh um youtuber who works with teaching people about paganism but he has never actually had an experience with the gods he's simply come to a belief in the gods logically which i find really fascinating because it just seems really rare and i'd be interested to hear from it but there's like a certain amount of anonymity because you know ocean doesn't want to call out a friend <laughs> Yeah. Trolls be assholes. Yeah. Let's see. Chu says, I have already decided that I do not care if any deities exist. I will worship no one. They can suck me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, and that's any fair. deity that demands your worship isn't worth Wait. your worship. 
Oh, yeah. So... Oh, okay. wait, yeah, what about Momo? Oh, yeah, what about Ash. Momo, too? Yeah, what about your Dommy Mommy? Wait. <laughs> I don't think... Well, that's different. Momo's a deity, Ash isn't. Oh, fair, fair, fair. True. But I mean, I was more like talking about uh, the the statement of "I will worship no one." Asher is, oh, yeah. Asher is a cryptid. Get it right. <laughs> well, still, I'm not <laughs> calling Asher a cryptid. I'm just pointing out that you would probably worship them. Yeah. I'm invoking yeah, yeah. my Fifth Amendment rights. <laughs> that is not an anything. option. This is not. The, you are so, not so, under the jurisdiction of U.S. law. No, 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 no. The great Doctor Bright server. No, no, no. Hatch, that actually proves what you said. True, true. So, so a, an inability to deny yeah, chew, it is you just... Only, chew, you only... Chew, chew, you already have demonstrated. But chew, you only say that when you are, like, when you don't want to, like, admit to something. You don't know that. Do you know how much I lie? I mean, I can sure as hell hear your voice quivering. <laughs> I, my voice quivers I, I, a lot I can tell you. I just talk weirdly. Well, yeah, but I heard it specifically when you were getting nervous. <laughs> Lying is a oh, very yeah. natural habit for me. Inconsistencies. Mm -hmm. Bookworm says, rip inconsistencies. You have no rights here. <laughs> You have the rights of a bottom. I Who is a sub? Wait, wait. Oh, I am not a sandwich. Right, I was gonna say you might want to do that close. To... No, 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 not not a sandwich. I'm talking. You know what I'm talking about, you. I really don't. But... I am sleep deprived. Do, do you... Chu, do you want me to read your, your BDSM scores <laughs> yeah, let's, again? Let's go. Let's just like hear publicly live. Start reading through Chu's BDSM scores. Jokes on you. Those are inaccurate. I recently started redoing the test. So uh -huh. Okay. So, on you. <laughs> okay. So what? Inaccurate info is still enough that we need to justifiably call you a sub unless you're willing to publish the more up to date info. That works. Oh, I didn't finish. I got distracted and busy. <laughs> Shoot. Also, your last... Your last... Your last post in BDSM. Dominoes or Subway? And you said, because one of them is more accurate to me, and the other has pizza. <laughs> Once again, we are the I Court of Horny. Goddamn fucking creepers! <laughs> that is karma. I, Man, want I, to, too, I, too. I want to fucking punch Notch in the gut for making creepers. What? And then punch him again for being a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> So or I should say, at the very least, a fascist. Not sure if he's a full Nazi. What's the difference? I mean, there's a handful uh, of minor differences, but they still... No, I was... There's not much of a I, I was also making a joke to, like, that, that one moment from Spongebob. Hey, Patrick, what am I? Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm Texas. What's the difference? What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there's any Texas viewers of Spongebob that got butt hurt over that episode. Probably. There it's definitely like, was. It's like how I'm there certain. There definitely was. There are, just think about all the people who get overly sensitive when people make jokes about friends. Mm. Like, people legit get so butt hurt over harmless poking 
when so many groups of people have gotten much, much worse. <clears throat> Please have several seats. I feel like I'm being subtweeted at. <laughs> I mean, it's not supposed to, but if it does apply to you, then that is beyond my control. I think it's more that I just tend to not find those sorts of jokes funny because I don't see a point to them. For me, the main jokes yeah. to... Oh my god, I really am sleepy. That wasn't a sentence. Um, the main <laughs> point to jokes is that I find them funny, and that is what concerns me first and foremost. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I guess that's the thing, like, it can get, like, there's a mixture of, like, sometimes they get, like, yikesy to a point of, like, where it actually can end up sounding like you're demonizing an entire populace of people, and other times it's just a joke that I don't find funny. Although, come to think, I think the most common I see someone in this chat, in this server, like, come a bit too close to that line is probably the child. Because the child has no goddamn filter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't. What about me? Do I have a filter? Metal is a fucking kid. Well, God I'm, damn. Well, yeah, right. You have no filter, but you know, I would try to defend you, but then I remember that one game of cards, and it's like, nah, nah. <laughs> You're oh, never shit. going to live that down. <laughs> it was a really bad mistake. <laughs> it really to my was. Room, right? I accidentally decided to confess one fetish during one <laughs> little fun event, and now I will never mm -hmm. be able to hear the end of it. You mean war? Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, it, fe it felt like there wasn't much, like, it felt like your filter was really hard on at that point. I just realized Rising. what I said. I just realized what I said. Never mind that. Um, it felt like your filter was really on there because we had to kind of like lightly conjole you to actually express it, and then we were all really like supportive of the fact that like yeah, it's not that weird of a kink. It's a pretty common kink. You're fine. And then now we constantly tease you for it because that's what we do to you. <laughs> we love you too. Yeah, no, we love you. You may hate us, but we love you. I, will, I don't know. That, that's I just too expressing his love True. for us. I will yeah, that's just too expressing his love for us. Bear me. Oh. oh, there's one thing I want to announce uh, for uh, tomorrow. Mm. Uh, since I don't have money for food or anything like that uh i will be doing mm -hmm. just uh starting stream at 11 30. it's a uh, for you the mean? minecraft thing um yeah yeah a.m yeah. 11 30 a.m i really right. do appreciate having the pet chew email what? What? Please tell me you have a. Right? Yes. There's people in here who will give you money for food. It's fine. You still have a treat stream, right? Yeah. Okay. Five seconds later, it gets deleted. So, I guess. Right. <laughs> bitly and air. We need a bitly and air. <laughs> Don't my like, bookworm pay for everything? <laughs> Bookworm says no. Bookworm <laughs> says <just>, no. <laughs> no delete. No delete. <laughs> Why are you not responding to me biting your fingers? You don't know if I'm into that. I. <laughs> You're not I mean, okay. I mean, honestly, you don't know if I'm into that either. 
but ultimately I just look at it as the way that my cats bite my fingers at times. Like, just keep petting them. It's just little love bites. You were supposed to hear me. <laughs> and my not particularly sharp teeth. You weren't expecting me to do that <laughs> show for it, were you, Chew? I don't think anyone expects anything from you, Bright. I think that's one of the best things I do about my content is like, no one expects anything that comes out of my mouth. <laughs> That's not always a good thing. Case in point, that one card yeah. straight. <laughs> hey, I didn't yeah. say it. Oh my god, I need this love plushie. That's that right, that's not No, that's not I what know. you think. It, it was bad. You disgust me. <laughs> That reminds me of a line from one of the Simpsons Hollow Halloween specials where Principal Skinner got his spine ripped out and then his mother just walked up to him and she was like, lost your spine, huh? You just keep finding new ways to disappoint me. <laughs> That's Eric to yeah. my family life. I need a hoe. Uh, a human one um, or a wood one? I'm getting an iron hoe. Well, I was, I was gonna say... I was gonna say Chew... Chew doesn't... Chew might not... <laughs> Chew might not be the appropriate Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Not the right type so, of hoe. What are we talking about? Talking about how I needed to make a hoe. Um, mm -hmm. And then we brought it back to mocking you. Sturdy material. Have you oh. considered material that is best suited for plowing so you can put that seed deep where it needs to be? Ah. Uh. Yep. You see, this is why we yep, keep teasing exactly. you, too, because you obviously want to be teased when you say <laughs> shit like that. Yep. True. Emmy Chang is about to release a Temelo plushie, and it squeaks, and I want it. I want them to release oh, the Chonk you. plushie. You know, like the I, Chaldean Quagsire. Chaldean, you mean? Chaldean, whatever. Or oh, the Parmesan one. That yeah, there we go. That's better. Parmesan. Look at it. It's squeak. Let me see. What is this? Oh, I don't even know what oh. that's from. That's that's Tammy. The one of the artists from Undertale and Deltarune who made uh Temmy. Uh Aw, that's adorable. And s several months ago she made her little avatar into a loaf and will just randomly post artwork of it. With very short descriptions. Oh. Look, this is from um, November 24th. Take a look at this. Oh, and Streamlabs is Aww. blocking it. Come on, that is cute. That's adorable. I would go look, but I am currently hyper fixating on mining. <laughs> also, can we acknowledge the fact that Jiri's like going off and eating supper at fucking 10. 10 mm. like it's currently 10 30 for her. I mean, him. What the you fuck? Can, you, Jiri's how a woman. Now. Him. How did I misgender Jiri? I My have brain hurts. One. Timmy, no. Timmy, no. Would that be called cannibalism? Because it's them? Or self cannibalism? What? What? You what are you heard? talking about? The recent picture that was posted in Dumb Post. Oh. 
I mean, no. Uh, we go to dumb post. Ah, oh, motherfucker! I punched it as I died. <laughs> oh my god, one of the memes that Spood posted and X-rated. I don't want to brag, but when I get naked in the bathroom, the shower usually gets turned on. Book <laughs> <laughs> uh, a rude spider. Yeah. Why is so much bad stuff happening to Temloaf? Wait, I want to see if they block this word. What word? Right, are you trying to post slurs in there? No, I don't <laughs> oh, no, Did they, they did they block out war? No. Wait, they didn't block out war hatchet? I mean I, I don't, don't really know why they would. I don't know. Did I, you send it in I sent it in chat, yes. I mean I was in the crafting table, I didn't see it. Oh, yep, they, yep, that, that's, that's the word bore. <laughs> they didn't block it. Okay, now this one is just plain funny. Look at this. Wait, I gotta, I gotta line it up just right. Zoom out. All right, all right, get ready. Look at this. I'm never ready. I'm never happy. I'm always horny. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Not. I, when, when you love, your face doesn't disconnect from your body. You see, that's the thing. I don't loaf. Well. Get to loafing. I ain't doing that. There are so many of these, and I love all of them. Look at this. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> she must be as light as helium. <laughs> it's balance. Fun fact, within another 30 years, Earth will run out of helium. Can we make artificial helium? Right. Helium is naturally occurring. I I'm just saying, can we just make artificial one to replace the helium? <laughs> I'm too exhausted for that. <laughs> I'm not saying, like, it's actual helium, like, a uh, gas similar to it. You know, like, for balloons You're and stuff. The only thing more similar to helium is helium. Not to mention the fact that, like, let's just be frank, balloons are the least of our concern. Like, okay. saturation diving heavily requires healing. In lieu of uh, thinking about this too much, observe <laughs> more Temloaf abuse. <laughs> they look yeah, fine point, with it. But yeah, point being, don't use helium balloons for your child's birthday party, folks. God, I forgot about this one. All, all of this love posting reminds me, Chu. <laughs> right, you stop need a wolf emote. I'm a waiting for you to go to bed. Emote. Oh, I'm in the quarry. Yeah, it's it's Wait. nighttime. Hang on. You think I'm coming on. out of the quarry? Hang on. Well, I can't this. go in my quarry. Monsters are going into it. That's why you light it up, dumbass. Wait, yo, yo, look at this one from last month. I'm gonna share my screen. Timmy, Timmy, do I need to talk? Uh, oh. A moment. <laughs> Timmy, do we need to have a discussion? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm back. Trick or treat. Oh, welcome back. Look at what you're streaming. 
Nothing. Oh, come on, Chew. What, you don't want to share- you don't want to share the information with- with the jury? No. Well, wow. if they're dirty, I don't blame them. It's not dirty. Oh. Oh, it's- it's not dirty. It's- it's closer to gory, I guess. Yeah. Dead. Fun fact. Ghost. Oh, shit. Also, sorry for running into, uh, triggering topics earlier. I just wanted to help things or try i have i have shared cozy warm love cozy wait, warm love sounds cute wait what happened in was it cozy love gw topics <laughs> oh there was a sensitive topic and i wanted to help things smooth along so i thought the best way to mediate between sides might be to share personal history since someone was talking about personal stuff uh, and it did not really work I mean, that's fair. also that is a very cute loaf that is a very cute loaf what the, <laughs> the thing she was streaming was that loaf except I'm with loaf. an arm with that that loaf with an, a severed arm in front of them. Why? It was it was for Halloween, apparently. Oh. oh. Tamalov gets up to him. Has a lot of adventures, I guess. So does Chew, but those adventures are not as are not very similar to Ten Loaves. I don't I don't go on any adventures. Yet. I mean, you're pretty adventurous. Oh, I'm not. Oh, Jerry, what do you Maybe think about my chandelier? Maybe two similar adventures I do with my Huns. And then listen, that would, listen, Chu, as far as I'm I concerned... If I do, then that means I somehow gain the ability but, to fly or to teleport or to magically find where people are. Wait, aren't you a fucking Saiyan? Can't you already fly? Yes, but in real life, I can't do that. <laughs> it's a shame. No, but anyway, as spaghetti. as I was going to say, I do, I dare say that <clears throat> wanting to be consumed by your lover for your sexual gratification is quite adventurous. Ah! Yeah, anyway, Jerry, hey, do you like my chandelier I have on my ceiling? That's so you, Bright. It really is. <laughs> just random chests hanging from the ceiling. Well, just remember, I live with Spood. Spood is more chaotic than Bright. Oh, shit. I Man. also like the fact that the Chew has not responded. <laughs> it's just I did. You weren't listening. Well, then you want to respond again? I already forgot what it was. I'm very sleepy, and technically I should go to bed soon so I can wake up in the morning and do exactly what I did today, except again. Also remember, if you wonder how chaotic Spood is generally, just remember, I have a very mild reaction to write most of the time. Yeah. I need... Objects. Ooh, a baby. Right? Yeah. Oh. You're a terrible person. <laughs> there was no reason to kill the baby sheep. <laughs> Alright, one more. One more. Okay, I... let me plug my phone in, then we can both kill the worm. Wait, what? I, have... I was doing more Temloaf posting while you guys weren't looking, so now you have plenty of wholesome... Ten loaf pictures to go look at. You can't make me. Including the latest one, B. I am a, I am a Stegosaurus. Okay, it's a B. Food? Yeah. After we do <clears> this, <throat> can you get me some soda? Um. Well, good. that can definitely be good. taken out of context. I forgot that, and I want either Chill. soda or milk. I think I really want milk. They're siblings, too. <laughs> no, not milk with soda. Ew. Wait, ew. What, do you have an issue with soda milk? I've never had ginger ale and soda before, and I don't want to. 
J Jerry, please, please do not drink milk, please. Do I really not... like milk. Yeah, milk is very tasty. Ginger ale with milk before? Remember, it made that sweet cheese stuff on top. Oh, you're right. But Shoot. that wasn't ginger ale. That was the ginger soda. That's more gingery than ginger hey, ale. Is your quarry as deep as mine? No. <laughs> it's pretty much just started. I guess when Bright likes making holes, she make, likes making them big and deep. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, so Bright's, nice. into, so Bright's into gaping. Got it. What? <laughs> you <won>. Oh. <laughs> Jerry. Uh, I love saying I I love saying uh dirty things that Jerry just reacts to with what? <laughs> hey, I also said oh. Yeah, I know. Jerry, if you need to escape from that, you may now look at the even more Tamla <laughs> pictures I have posted. It sounded like you said, Jerry, if you need to escape from debt. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure these can also save you from that, because it is Temloaf. Ten loaf is love, ten loaf is life. What about yep. Shrek is love, Shrek is life? Here we see Temloaf except dragon. We have Temloaf except bee. We have Temloaf except eating spaghetti. We have Temloaf getting sliced in half with a sword. And then there's me, unrelated to the Thames, just having my chili slash sausage slash pepperoni thing. Ravioli pepperoni or it gets What's this? No, if you pan fry pepperoni, it lets out a lot of flavor. It's Can really you tell good. I'm sleepy yet? Is it showing? Yes. <laughs> what I ended up doing at one point is uh, I wanted to make like a... I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation because I'm fucking white, but quesadilla. White. White. Quesadilla, you said it fine. Um, oh, okay. That's that, how you say yeah. quesadilla. I, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, hash. If you, you said it. Remember, you when you see the two L's yeah. in Spanish, it's it's not L. Hatch, hatch. Watch, watch the watch the like thing from that uh, Jerry put in like dumb posts. I think. Oh no! No, that'll put? hurt hatchet. That'll hurt hatchet. I mean, I did. Put, you said uh, it. Watch you said it better. Thing, but you said it better than them, so you, yeah, you're good. <clears throat> okay. You, but just, anyway, just remember, they said it so badly. They sound at one point. One person sounded like they said Pico de Gal de Galio. They were <laughs> one step away from saying Pico de Galileo. I think I saw, like, a video from Drumsy where, like, they had a handful of, uh, people dress up as, like, this generic. Oh. Thank oh. you for following. And reminding me I need to fix my damn follower thing. Where, like, Drumsy had, like, three guys. They all dressed up as, like, uh, like, a really generic, um, Latina, the kind of stocky Latina mom. Uh, skin in VR chat and then they all pronounced a whole bunch of like Latin American terms but as white as fucking possible. Oh no. They were doing that to purposely mock certain people, weren't they? I'm and guessing it wasn't Spanish people. Yeah, I'm guessing they were specifically trying to mock the the dumbass white white folk. <laughs> like I think at one point someone so, yeah, at one point, one of them pronounced jalap... Oh, the... Oh, gee. Oh, it's the Darny. At one point, one of them pronounced jalapeno like jalapeno. 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 heard that. That's why they pronounced it. You yeah. see, whenever we hear someone mispronounce something, we internally wince. Yeah, it's, it's a really funny section of the video, but... Um... 
Well, and if you want a few of those added to your list, watch the British Bake Off thing I like. Oh dear God, that's what it's from. It's oh, Uncle man. Rogers watching the British Bake Off with uh, Joshua Weissman. Oh. oh and no. they can both hear the Mexican ancestors crying, and neither of them are Mexican. I'm part Spanish. How do you think I felt hearing them, watching them, oh, looking no. at them as they made tacos? Not anything baking that has to do with Spanish food at all. I mean, there's savory breads, there's sweet breads, there's cakes, there's cookies, there's all sorts of things. They picked tacos. Mm, they yeah. literally, they could have done biscuitos as well. I mean. Hell, if they really wanted to be that late tacos, they could have done sopapilla. Oh man, I love sopapilla. Have you ever had sopapilla? I have oh. never even heard of it. Same. <clears throat> also, a uh, doctor. Oh, I'm, I'm oh, sad my... for you. Have sopapilla. Also, Doctor I... Dipper, you came at an interesting time. <laughs> a donut so, sounds like you so... had it. Oh no, I've had it. Yeah, I've... describe it to them. Jer Jerry, I live I, I I live in uh, like New Mexico. Of course I've had it. It's that mm -hmm. one state. That's what that's one of you saying that you've had it is one of the reasons why I was asking you to share it. Okay. Aderna okay, lives yeah, in nom, that... nom, nom. I was gonna say Aderna Speak lives of in the that... nom nom. Speak of the nom nom. I was gonna say, Aderna lives in that one state that was uh, named by white guys after Mexico. <laughs> I just well, realized I, I'm about I, to end I stream you. soon. I love you. Yeah. Also, the did you know all the like cities that, are, that have San in the front of the name are literally uh, oh, shit. Na Spanish names for saint? That works. Huh. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So there's a lot of of Spanish cities throughout the country. Anyway, yeah. Adrena, please describe Sopapilla to them. Sopapilla, sopapilla. Um, or, or describe your favorite Spanish dessert. I know that's mine, but you probably have something else. Sopapilla. I'm a simple person, oh, okay? Shit. I'm a simple person. I love Sopapilla. Sopapilla. Yeah, Sopapillas are good. good. Um, so a Sopapilla is basically like... A I don't I don't know how to describe it's it, literally really. fried dough. So some so there are people who make uh, it yeah. by it's frying right. dough and some people make it by frying tortillas. So some versions mm -hmm. look more cake like than others, but it's always delicious. And after it's deep fried, you literally coat it with cinnamon and it's cinnamon and sugar and honey sometimes not all of yeah. it doesn't always have honey sometimes they put ice oh, cream you can, in it. it's it's so amazing i feel like they they typically uh yeah you can t typically like just put uh honey uh inside of it too like uh, like i an, don't think you an, can because although it's hollow it only pop, puffs up mm -hmm. a, after it's deep fried. You'd have to like break it open <clears throat> to do that, right? Oh yeah, no. Uh, yeah, you, that's what I meant. Like you get like make a little hole and like pull. Uh, pull oh. Honey in it. <laughs> that sounds like something I would never do, but I'm sure there's lots of people who do it. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I'd like to try more soba pe kinds of soba peas, honestly. It does sound like, very good. What is your favorite mm -hmm. uh, Mexican dessert? Uh, honestly, I haven't tried as many as I probably could have. Mostly because, like, I have a very... I, I'm... I'm very picky, so it's like hard for me to like, yeah. But like, um, biscuit Cheetos are good. 
the I don't know if there's bench. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I think the closest I've got. Well, like to yeah, anything, this. Oh, sorry. Mm. No, I sorry. think. Um, okay, what about your favorite Mexican candy? Um, I've seen. I've seen a lot of those. I haven't really tried many. And I honestly don't remember if I, like, what the taste of the ones I've tried, for the most part. Yeah, uh... It's been a while. On with the Mexican uh -oh. food thing, I think the closest thing I've gotten to taste Mexican food is burrito- uh, is burritos. And that's it. That- that is still Mexican food, right? I said don't that was the, the closest, closest thing. To. Oh, I mean... Only uh, say the closest to it, the only Mexican food you've had is Taco Bell. Oh, hell no. That's a thought. <laughs> <laughs> I've, had, <laughs> I've eaten at other places besides Taco Bell. Fuck Taco I Bell. I mean, yeah. actually, let's be frank. That's about been... where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm pretty sure there's better, like... Yeah, there's probably, like, some good, like... Uh, Mexican restaurants in Colorado, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, but you see, that requires me leaving my house. Also, uh, Hetchy, you might get a kick out of this, but yeah. there's there's a restaurant near me that's just called Mexican Restaurant. Oh no! <laughs> want to guess it oh no <laughs> you want to guess the skin tone of its owners <laughs> oh no oh no there there was uh so there was a restaurant like in uh like mm. there there was a restaurant in uh, uh Texas also that had was to, so I just fucking say great that was a joke not all mexican people have darker skins, so I think that's more like guess where those pe guess yeah. like what ethnicity those people are. Yeah, are that's like. that's what I'm meaning. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Well, like yeah, there was a there was a really racist like uh um like me uh, Mexican food restaurant. In like, uh, Lubbock. Oh. like, um, I, th I don't remember what it was called, but like, I'm pretty sh sure it might have used a racial slur. Oh, oh God. God! Also, also some very, very bad depictions of like very like racist depictions of like mexican people so i'm guessing it's worse than the clothes mm. of people uh commentating on the british B bake off war because you saw that those clothes those did not look like authentic ponchos those looked like stuff british people made to look like authentic ponchos oh yeah no oh yeah those no those were like uh... rip off ponchos <laughs> Yeah, I I, uh, I did not like those. Ugh. And they made lots of uh, racial jokes, like not one. <sighs> like what literally just using a name. That would be that would be like using just like. <sighs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I said, again, Dr. Also, all of their... All of the pronunciations of the people on that show were horrendous. Like, what was your favorite start, the, My favorite, like, mispronunciation? Uh, yeah. Uh, I feel like you cringed from me saying that. Yeah. 
Uh, uh-huh. I'll, I'll say this again, Dr. Dipper. You came at a very interesting, to- interesting time. <laughs> sorry, Dipper. <laughs> They've yet to say I, anything. I'm sorry, Dipper. We don't... I have... I was about to lie to them. I was mm-hmm. going to say something on the lines of we don't spend an inordinate time talking about dumb racism, but now that's like... I would love to say yeah, that no. as someone who's part, part Spanish, I took how stupid they were very personal, so that's, that's why I'm talking about it. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's fair. Uh, that's completely fair. Theory. <clears throat> like... Uh, Oh my god, how one of the contestants said guacamole. <sighs> like, uh-huh. she literally said guacamole. Oh. There was or one who pronounced something. it even worse. But let's stop. Let's stop. Uh, right. Also, did you see how they cooked the beans? Not one of them used fat, and all of them looked so um. dry. There's no way any of those counted as they, fried beans. They, I'm not even sure they were normal. They, they didn't even. They didn't look fully cooked. They, they didn't even. Like fried beans. They looked like no fat was used. For anyone who doesn't mm. know, uh, Spanish refried oh, beans. Okay. To be little fat. To, I mean, if you're a vegetarian. Uh, to be fair. Little fat, but it has to be fat. To be. Yeah. Agreed. To be fair. Uh, they weren't given the worst, like, description, the worst, like, uh, like, worst, uh, what is it called, um, instructions possible. I, I don't think that is a good defense. They were so bad at it, they pronounced oh, yeah. it each of the oh, no. no, 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 I, I'm, like, talking about, like, speak to the guy all right. Yeah, yeah, no, none of them and did. They said it was lo- it was salsa. Well, no, it's not salsa. It's not salsa. Mm-hmm. And I, I've <laughs> heard customers <laughs> call pico de gallo salsa, but no, it's purposely chunky. It's not salsa. Salsa means sauce. Pico de gallo isn't a mm-hmm. sauce. Yeah. Would you like some chunks in your saw? Hey, Hatchet, uh, I want to ask you something. Like dumb joke. Uh, Man, what's up? For, so I was thinking of using, like, the railings uh, for, like, the, for the, uh, for, for on the sides. Because, you know, on walls have, like, these rails along the sides. Yeah. I was thinking of either yeah. using mangrove or, or uh, either using mangrove or jungle. What do you think? I don't know if that would lo- work very well with your color palette. Ah. Like, if you're going to be using copper up top. Maybe. Mm. Probably not. Yeah. I'm just like, trying... I was thinking, oh. I, I was again thinking, like, Deep Slate would be a good color to add on to the situation. Oh, put that as, like, maybe the ceiling or the side. So- by a side. Yeah, like for the railings mm. and like Damn it. I would assume that you're wanting to like put some level of decorations at the top of your wall. There was a creeper in your wall, wasn't there? <laughs> yeah, and I can't I got blown up by it. Hopefully the wall isn't damaged. There's the, probably the a giant wall, hole. No, it's the wall is a hundred percent damaged. Cobblestone is not that fucking blast resistant. Mm-hmm. Let's go review the damage. Mm. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't take any damage. <laughs> I think it, uh, Bedrock's really fucky. Sometimes if you jump right at the moment of impact, it can just cancel it out. Uh. Bedrock is notorious for being fucking weird. 
Mm. Let's see. Oh, oh. Well, actually, the cobblestone wall is fine. It's just the underground underneath. <laughs> yeah. Like, cobblestone has a decent blast resistance, but you were, you were definitely going to have some... <laughs> Have some holes. See if I die, please don't die. Oh, what the fuck? I no, survived. Died. Why don't you make like actual safe footing? Because Bright is reckless, and would not, and would like immediately get sued if she tried oh, to. Oh wait, there's a part. Health. A part of, of the cobblestone wall was damaged. Now, okay. like I said, like cobblestone. Ironically enough, cobblestone ha somehow has a better blast resistance than standard stone, but uh, it's it's still like going to take damage there. I think it has a better resistance because cobblestone is normal stone, but worked. Oh, okay, yeah, but it's like. All right. It's ultimately like, like cobblestone is normal stone, but like broken up into little chunks. See, here's the thing: I don't have to worry about the inside because no one's gonna see the inside. What? As long as you can't. Oh goddamn it! You do. Right, right, <laughs> right. You do realize that you're streaming this, right? Yes. Oh wait. Oh, you mean the inside of the wall? Okay. Yes, what do you think I meant? Oh. I was thinking the inside of your base. Oh, oh, finally, I'm verified. Jeez, it's not that it's scaffolding. It it, it takes out all fall damage. It says, uh, Dr. Dipper. And Dr. Dipper redeemed Bong Gadget. Why? <laughs> oh, we also oh, need a bong for right. Oh, did you get caught on a scaffolding? Yeah, I was climbing the scaffolding. Oh, okay, then that's that. Yeah, that's a better explanation. I didn't notice that you were. Wait, Doctor Dipper was repeatedly bonking you. <laughs> I am upset. <laughs> Why are you upset? What do you think? Anyway, I will have you know, despite what the British Bake Off. Thanks. Mexican food is quite diverse. I mm -hmm. think one of my favorite uh, savory uh, Mexican dishes, though, is not a baked good, but mole, which is not baking. My specific type of favorite mole is a spicy dark mole, but there's so many variants of that that even saying that is vague. But yeah, I mean, surprise, surprise, an entire culture has a lot of diversity in the foods they make. Well, Dr. Again, or Mexico fix has that shit. multiple cultures, and mole just means yeah. the type of sauce that is made of primarily ingredients that have been uh, roasted to the point of darkness, and it's ground up, and it's amazing. Right. And I love... Yeah. I love dark, I love roasted food, like the type of roasted food where it's dark and flavorful and amazing. Wait. I think you can see where I like mole. Yeah. Also, what do you mm -hmm. mean, Dr. Dipper? Yes, she gets it. Yes. Probably refer Might be referring to Jiri, but Jiri's, that's, that's misgendering Jiri, I think. Yeah, yeah Jiri's a man. But yeah, I'm a guy. The reason my voice is the way it is is actually due to... Let's just say when I hit puberty, my voice started going deep immediately, and I was like, oh shit, people are going to be scared of me. So I started feminizing my voice. Although, so... ever since I moved, like, two years ago, my voice has slowly been going, you know what? You're using me to do a femi thing less often, so I'm just going to auto-darken on Deepen. Auto-deepen. Darken. Uh, I think my brain's turning off slowly as it gets later in the night. <laughs> uh, it, you're, you're fine, you're, Dr. Dipper. Hey, you're fine. I'm fairly certain they're so, not offended. Yeah, they're not offended. I'm not offended. I've, I've heard... I've, I'm not offended. 
Yeah. Hey, at least you apologized. Unlike yeah. other people. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You're good. You're good, man. They're probably yeah, a little behind. But yeah, they were they were complimenting your taste in food. Oh, thank you. But also, Bright, one thing I was going to say, if you want that to specifically be oxidized copper, mm -hmm. um, well, one, you can get way more mileage out of putting it in a stone cutter and turning it into cut copper. Uh, and oh. two, if you want to, um, uh, if you want to uh, make it so that it's oxidized copper, uh, you can actually speed that up by basically placing them four blocks apart in a grid. And it'll actually make them oxidize faster. Nice. Does that mean they'll be green? Yeah, it, it'll make them more green faster. And yeah, Dr. Dipper, Bright's looking to get the oxidized versions. That'll Not the, blend well with the, the waxed. greenery. Yeah, you can you can wax it to oh. make it keep its sheen. Got you goddamn dipshit. <laughs> You know what? Let's talk about less darker topics. What's your favorite SCP? Me? Less Anyone darker here? To... Wait, so we've gone from talking about... Wait, so less dark topics to you is like going from it's... talking, oh, yeah, about, we talking nice about Spanish food. food. Sorry, we were talking, we were about, talking food. about nice Spanish food. And then the less dark topic is, <laughs> hey, let's talk about this horror, this horror I'm community. I'm falling asleep, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you still have the racism on your brain. SCP-231 yeah. is a good first read. Oh, dear God. <laughs> you know what? Instead of SCP, let's go back to Spanish food. What Spanish food have you guys tried? My favorite. Burritos. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. The, the probably very white <laughs> tacos that my mom makes. Well, what's in the tacos? We don't know if they're white or not. Let's see, a uh, hamburger that's fried in the pan with, like, a store-bought seasoning. Oh, they like SCP-999. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, um, let me see. Why am I getting thick you hatchet? This person has, this person has come into this chat just to bonk and, and flip me off multiple Very times. Nice. Wait, that's one, two, three. Hey. Hey, I think they get the hey. they get the they get the like They get the mood Are you of this, the stream. But anyway, as I was describing the tacos my mom makes, now she puts like Things other than just meat, cheese, and sour cream on hers, but I pretty much only ever have them with meat, cheese, and sour cream, and that's it. Honestly, being able to customize your tacos is very similar to just regular tacos. Yeah. Street tacos oh, yeah, my... uh, typically just have they they have the meat and other and other stuff, but most of the things you can put on it are side items that are optional to put on it. Like, you could even put, like, like for, uh, there are street vendors who put radish as the side here, which hmm. is very hmm. delicious, but also optional. You don't need to put that on your taco. It's delicious, Thank but you don't you. need to. Yeah. But, uh, trying to think. Oh, yeah, and what my mom does, which is awesome, is... We basically copy something that I first saw at Taco Bell being like the cheesy gordita crunch where you uh, Taco put cheese. Taco Bell oh is, is the opposite of Spanish. I mean, I know that, but yeah. it's tasty, so. That's fair. Um, like, what, what my mom does is take fair. a store-bought tortilla, put cheese on it, and then put that around the, t the taco shell and then uh, microwave that. So then you've got, like, the tortilla with extra cheesy stuff attached to the shell. You know what? If it tastes good, it tasted good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, that's the thing. I ain't thinking that I'm, like, some connoisseur of, of, of oh, yeah. Spanish food. 
I just know that that's like the closest thing to Spanish food I've had. Well, or like, uh, or I guess we have had. Some, I guess we have had some other burritos before. Technically, Spanish food is different than Mexican food. Despite being a quarter well, Spanish, yeah, right. I've never yeah, had right, right. any Spanish food in my entire life. Only Mexican. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, I should clarify mm -hmm. Mexican food. Oh yeah, right, yeah. All Mexican food is uh, four blocks away from each other. So it comes is like I would say like uh, somewhat affect, affected by like the like indigenous peoples to like. The air, the few like Mexico and like those areas, so yeah. Painted a chew? <laughs> I don't think they even know who Chew is. Yeah, do you know who Chew is? We've got a friend named Chew. <laughs> Did you come yeah. over here from Chew's like community? Watch that thing actually come. Case. In... That's probably wait is. come. I come to think that I feel like I've seen Dr. Dipper and Cirrus's chat. Uh oh. Oh yeah. So maybe so maybe, yeah, actually. I for I forgot to put that in my stream in Dr. Cirrus's server. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh oh yeah, Dr. Uh, Dipper okay. is from Jew. Okay. Okay, that's why I thought. Like the name sounded familiar. Okay. Oh, they say nah. Oh. Okay, so they know they know our Chew. But they're not from Cirrus's server. Okay. okay. Also, how the fuck has it gotten to Who be that? Who that? Uh, Cirrus is a uh, p politics slash atheist streamer who mm -hmm. is also a VTuber who talks about a lot of like progressive issues regarding um, cons like issues surrounding conservative Christianity as well as just general political stuff. Yeah. Yep, and his uh, VTuber model is a cat girl, so. Yeah. Yeah, I think a long time ago he decided to... it pisses off right-wingers a lot, and they think he's trans, and he thinks that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah anyway. and the fact that, like, back when he was uh, not using a VTuber model, he you know, would come on screen personally. And, like, he basically used that as a litmus test to check whether or not they were actually interested in having a conversation. Because nine times out of ten, dumbasses would just see, hey, look, it's a fat guy with anime stuff behind him. Let's just say that and then act as if I've made a point. <laughs> I thought she was the one in the back. Oh no 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 no! She was a she was a different streamer slash friend of ours. Yeah. yeah. The uh the 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 five people and five people. What the oh I was counting the fucking live stream blip on four people. The four the four people in here are Aderna, who has been fairly quiet and is muted right now. Jerry who is the main person who's been talking about the Spanish food. Uh, there's Bright, who are you current? You are currently watching the perspective, and me, Hatchethead, who is the co-host. Uh, <laughs> yeah, at this co-host slash like co-host slash yeah. thousands of like playing in the same world, but thousands of blocks away from Bright. Yeah. <laughs> like Bright, what's your? Let's see, what's your coordinates? You're at uh three. Negative three three four and three a two three a two. Are you two basically making your own little special continents? Not really. I, I am current. Oh my god! I just realized my coordinates are perfect. I am at. Uh, let me just move a tiny bit to make it even more perfect. Uh, I am at the coordinates. Uh. Uh, X one thousand four one thousand. 42, Y, 117, and Z, 69, 69. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm actually at those coordinates. I love watching scaffolding fall. It really is satisfying, isn't it? Yeah, but uh, it's like two uh, over 2 a.m., so you know what time that is. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm pretty good to... Yeah, and why is it every time I open Streamlabs, like, it, it freaks out the phone? Has anyone else seen the blue lines? 
Mm. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't see any blue lines freaking out at the bottom of the ga of Minecraft Minecraft game? No, not a Discord. Oh my god, that just means to say to someone. I mean, I mean, but that's too damn far. What? Okay. Anyway, uh, wait, what? I don't know. That just mean to say to someone. I mean, I'm. That's too damn far. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, that's the other thing about our friends group. Most of us are just like, like our humor is mocking each other ceaselessly, but we actually love each other very much. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, I can ask Dr. Dipper a serious question. Oh, dear God. What? Do you stack frogs? <laughs> oh, damn it. It's the frog. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, it's bright. <laughs> Well, it's always the frog question. I love how Dipper, uh, Dr. Dipper asks a question and then you're like, do you stack frogs asking a question? <laughs> some answer yeah, anything. it's 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 ending, Dr. Dipper. Yeah, it is over 2 a.m. for break. Attack the foundation. <laughs> yeah. Well, Fuck the foundation. Bright, I'm supposed to be the second to last person to give the last words. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I already told Bookhorn to do last words. I did it oh. in DMs for no reason. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, they stack frogs. They stack frogs. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Another frog stacker in oh. here. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're probably a decent bit behind. Yeah. Oh yeah. Anyway, so um Yeah, so we're just waiting on bookworm. <laughs> we're <Why>? catch it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> they just really like bonking you. I don't deserve this. <laughs> I've done nothing to deserve this many bonks. I just want. Why is Aderna pogging? I just want to imagine, like they're just in the corner, like everyone's just talking normal, normally, normally, and Doctor Dipper is just bonking Hatchet with a baseball bat repeatedly <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> I hope it's at least a foam one. <laughs> I am sad. I do not see the scare bright option anymore. It's on there. It was it was called different. It's yeah. Yeah, it's right. Jesus. <laughs> Hatchet used it. Why was <laughs> I not prepared? <laughs> you were literally talking about it. No. I like that. Fuck did that get you? I don't know. Oh, I found it. Sorry. It's fine. <laughs> really late at night. Oh, yeah, bookworm, you ready? Hey, Hatcher, look what I redeemed. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow Bright on all socials. Uh, and give her money if you that's can. Awful. And as always, <laughs> okay, may your heart be it. your guiding key. <laughs> <Dr. Ooh. Dimmer. laughs> I think they got scared by it too. <laughs> anyway, Bookworm said, "Like, comment, subscribe, and follow Bright on all socials, and give her your her money if you can. And as always, may your heart be your guiding key." That's actually really wholesome for some strange reason. That doesn't work if I'm not playing Minecraft. So what? Anyway, uh, during our last words, go. More pain. <laughs> Why did they bump that shit again? No, that's Aderna. Oh, wait, no, Aderna bonked Chew and then Bright. 
And then... <laughs> oh, no, you ficked me. Now you bonked me. Great. <laughs> anyway, uh, Adurna, last words, go. <laughs> Should be the last slide from his <laughs> King Parse. I just felt like deploying it. Oh you, you good? Well, okay. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Um, follow, subscribe, su support, right, and curse you, fairly to platypus. <laughs> All right, Jerry. Last words go. I believe in you. <laughs> and it just goes dead. Sorry, right, Eden. Oh, it, it, that's your last words. No, no. <laughs> While we may have been talking about Mexican food, I would like to say my favorite food in general is typically foods that are easy to eat. So it's typically very long things I can shove in my mouth. I'm not going to say anything. Like sausages, corn dogs. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually fried mochi that is long and you can shove in your mouth. I'm not saying anything. There's lots of tasty things. <laughs> I haven't tried mochi, but I do want to try it. You've never tried mochi? Yeah. That's sad. Yep. <laughs> also, yeah. I got you enjoy I got around to doing it. Also, do not take up dares. That might sound stupid. <laughs> like. Right. Last night, Spood, also bonk for <laughs> I felt dared last night by Spood when they said my butt was hard. And I tried to prove <laughs> it wasn't hard, so I slapped my butt with my hand, and I think I've injured my hand slightly. <laughs> the pain comes on and off again. Oh my god! Oh my gosh, Jerry! <laughs> I only hurt it in the wrist! The pain in the hand faded! The wrist is kind of lasting on and off. Oh. Dr. Dipper is having a fucking shit fit. <laughs> Bong Cherry's question I marks us. I wanted to prove that my butt wasn't hard, but it has too much muscle. <laughs> All anyway, right. so it is now confirmed Jerry can be reasonably called a hard ass. <laughs> That's not funny! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Hatchet, last words, go. Oh, God. I gotta... <laughs> Bookworm says kind of is. <laughs> That's why I went... <laughs> All right, Hatchet, last words, go. And remember, kids, you led us well, fought hard. No one else could have gotten us this far. I'll make the choice for you. Go off and give up on, give up on your dreams and charge to your death. Lead those crying children straight to hell. I'll reach the beast titan and tear him apart. Wait, what's going on with Dr. Tipper? <laughs> what happened? Was it what Hatchet was saying? <laughs> I don't I know. He sounded nice and dramatic. Anyway. They might have been... I mean, I feel like they're a bit behind. Yeah. Or maybe oh. I'm making them relive Attack on Titan memories. Okay, if you say so. This is not their difference. Yeah. Oh, oh, to the, oh, to my house. Uh oh. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy Danger Noodles, and and uh, my last words will be, uh, if I get to a hundred followers. I will forcefully be playing uh, Tattletale again.
I don't like Tattletale. I don't want to see it again. But if I reach there, I will stream it till completion as much as I hate it. Dr. Dipper, share out to as many friends as you can, please. Oh, god damn it, Hatchet. Yeah, if, if you want, if you want to see Bright, um, play the Furby game. The Furby horror game. Dear god, no, please. Get her to 100 followers. Bright is the type of woman who is deathly afraid of Furbies for some reason. I'm not af afraid, I just don't like them. I want them all to burn. Someday you will wake up and there will be a living Furby on your chest. Your chat is slower. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Dipper. Dr. Dipper. Oh, wait. Dipper says bet. Oh, dear God. No. Very good. Very good. <laughs> no, why? Yeah, right. We myself. only need 12 more people. I got one. Okay. I got one. Okay. That, you know what? That one's better than none. Got one friend. Yeah. One anyway. friend. That's fair. Anyway, Danger Noodles, I hope you enjoyed. And see you guys on mission next time. I'm already <laughs> building up my own little hype train for the continuing of Attack on Titans final season. And streaming. Three, two, keep the oh, chain wait, letter. The stream has